Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember, but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Good morning, good morning, yeah, it's Christmas, I know, we've made it as jolly as we possibly could for you, we're not jolly, oh Kat's in a bad mood, Jesse's in, Jesse's, I haven't seen Jesse for ages and ages, I forgot to ask you about his, he's got a lovely daughter, how old is she now, about 27, oh 10, she's 10 now, oh, she's gorgeous, year 5 at school, anyway, anyway, wait. good morning, good morning, good morning, did you miss me? Did you miss me? I missed you. I've had a long week. The aircon's not working, so it's very, very hot in here, and I'm wearing acrylic today, so that's going to be fun. I'll be a puddle by lunchtime. Anyway, shall we start with today's early bird? You see, Jesse's good, isn't he? Because Elliot always gets that wrong, doesn't he? It'll be the next one, we'll see. Right, you see this? Should be $12.99. It's quilt basting spray. You know it's like 505 spray, but it's the June Taylor quilt basting spray. Big tin. Big tin you get there, secures quilt backing from the top and the back, works with cotton or polyester batting, eliminates pinning and it is acid free. We are going to crash the price because at midnight tonight it will go back to 12 99 Not quite sure where it's going to actually. Oh, his cat, cat's out of the box already, what are you losing? I've got the box because I said I wanted to be just looking. At £10.99. 
Ten pounds ninety-nine. Have I got a box? No, but no, I've got nothing here. Uh, oh, it, it, will it? Be, what, what's it look like? Sorry, everybody, we're just looking for a box. Emma Bradford's been here for hours, chattering, gossiping away. Now she's about to get ready to do some sewing. She's like, oh, I haven't got a foot. Anyway, at ten ninety-nine. This is ten pounds and ninety-nine pence. Oh, is it behind the desk? Yeah. Where? Oh, there. That's the 780, that. Oh, I think it's the 580. Sorry. Right, yo, keep going, keep going, keep going. 10.99. 10 pounds and 99 pence. I'll just do a few messages while, we, while you're checking out on that. Julie says, morning, John. We've missed you. Thank you, Julie. Kim says, good morning. And everyone, happy Friday. Anne-Marie says, good morning. Leslie says, good morning. Cousin Susan says, good morning. Oh, you're here. Good morning, says Glenis. Claire says, morning, John. Merry Christmas. Don't even start. Emily says, morning, John. Love the shirt. Anna says, morning, John. Loving the shirt. Margaret says, morning, John and team. Jeanette says, love the shirt. I'm off to Pavers in York this morning. Oh, now, Jeanette, I wasn't at the shop. I was at their, their main office in um, Upper Poppleton. But I did stay. I did stay in the centre of York. And I've decided when I retire... I'm going to buy a Riverside apartment in York and retire happily there with a the dog. Uh, Jeanette says, love the show. Oh, no, I've done that one. Patsy says, morning, John. Christmas too early for me. Oh, me too. Me too. May have to watch from behind a cushion. Sadly, it's, it's Christmas for five hours today. I do apologise. Uh, Patricia's going into John. Love you from Blackpool. How are you, Patricia, my lovely? Uh, and then uh, Princess says, good morning. How's Loki, Princess? How's Loki? Uh, Louise says, morning, John. Looking very Christmassy. Oh, no. And I hate Christmas. And I'm going to roll my sleeves up. I'm too hot already. Oh, Davinia, do you say? She's not at work today. Missed you, Don. Lots of loves from Davinia. Now, it didn't come up as 26% today, did it? Normally, and comes up as 26%, doesn't it? Oh. Anyway. 10.99, keep going through for this. Claire said, I thought you were retiring to the seaside. No, I've decided, Claire, that I want to be able to retire and then leave my flat and just walk into town. So I was in a hotel, it was a horrible hotel. Don't stay at the Ibis in York, it's just disgusting. Oh, vile, and really expensive as well, really expensive. But anyway, if you lived, if I bought one of these flats, I could walk to the station in 10 minutes, right? And when you get to the station, you can get on the train, obviously. You can get to London in two hours. You can get to Edinburgh in two hours. You get to Birmingham in an hour and a half. 10 99 That's off, so it's sorted. Sorted. Got a price comparison for you? 15 pounds. Now, is it the same size tin? We've got to make sure it's the same size tin, because we had this last time. Yeah, no, no. Take that down. Take that down. Right. I've got to make an apology now then. No, no, because this happened last time and I, I apologise. What shop? What shop was that? Right, I apologise profusely to Poppy Patch. That is not a price comparison because that tin is much bigger than ours. So I apologise profusely. Yeah, only because we did this with another one, got into a lot of trouble. That was all, so I need to do things like that. Here we go. 10 99 for 10 ounces. It's not on the available on the Long River at the moment. Uh, Jenny says, good morning, lovely John. The princess says, always responding well to treatment. That's okay. It's 60 days till Christmas. I think it's 61, isn't it? Something like that. I know it's frightening. Jan, the other Jan says, good morning. Oh, we haven't woken up Jan Hill. Jan Hill, get up. Get up, Jan. It's Friday. Get up. Right, this is a proper price comparison here. It's the same size, £15.50. Out of stock, but £15.50. I'm not surprised you're buying multiples. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. £10.99. Keep going through, keep going through. Right, hang on a second then. What, so what we're going to do now, let's have a look at today's menu because I've got to get the table ready for Alison, Marion, Marion, Alison. So coming up today, we've got the Christmas table runner with Alison, Marion, Marion, Alison. We'll just show you a picture of that. Oh, sorry, Jesse. Did you not do it like this yesterday? Table runner, first of all. There it is. It's Alice and Marion's design, our fabric. Then back to the menu. Then we're doing around the world quilt with Emma Bradford. Oh, I love this. Now, have we got a picture? We haven't got a picture of that one. I'll show you. It's this one here behind me. 
got it in three colours. That's only a quarter of it, obviously. That's just good. So have we not got any pictures or anything of it at all? Wait there, wait there. No, yeah, stay there, no, I'm coming back. It looks like this finished. Looks like that finished. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to just bring the camera around. There you go. It's huge. It's huge. It's like 87 by 87, something like that. Okay, so back to the menu. Sorry, I haven't got a picture of that. Uh, then, uh, oh, that's the one that the, um, we were going to have a, one made, uh, like a print of one made, don't mean it's not there. Anyway, she's also got her Quiltsville, is it called Quiltsville? The other one, she's got that one in that hour, but she's not making that. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got the Christmas Advent bags. Oh, I came out of breath already. Christmas, there they go. There's 24 of those on that string there. Look at the little numbers on them. It's cute, isn't it? That's Alice and Marion. And what else in there? Oh, Tucker's back. A turkey is just for Christmas. It's not for life. That's coming back. That's available on pre-order. Oh, I'll show you in a minute on pre-order. Then, what's the next bit on menu? Uh, 11 o'clock Christmas festive flower panels with Emma. You can make a cushion or you can make a table mat set. Right, there's the cushion. It's a panel. It's a panel. It's usually Rebecca Reed's um, flower of the month design thing, cat of the month design thing. Right? Uh, and then we go to Yarn Lane. We've got Christmas Knitting with Carol Ibbotson. Uh, anyway, so, so now, I'll, tell you about, I'll show you about that later because we've got pictures, but I'll show you later. But you'll see bits of them around the set. There are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is, oh, I was going to say, what's that there? But it's the iron, of course. Uh, three ways to get in touch. You can email. That's right, you're still learning. There you go. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. You can send a Facebook Live message, which ones I'll be reading out. There you go. Stay there for a minute, because I'll just read some more. Anne says, morning, John. John, Emma, love your shirt and your belt. Stop being such a bar humbug. It's no use bringing us Christmas makes in December. Oh, nicey. We're too late, according to Anne. Stuart says, morning. Great to see you all again. Feels like ages since I've seen you. Jeanette says, York will be lucky to have you. Ah, oh, that's nice. Caroline says, morning to all. And then uh, Pauline just shouts out, Joey O'Rourke. Don't know what that means. Don't know what that means. Uh, and then the third way is go to the website. So you go to the website, www.sayingstreet.com. Click on what, oh, it's not my name. It's not got my name on. Look, Christmas Table Runner with dot, dot, dot. So the other day I was Vicky Carroll and today I'm nobody. I'm just a nobody. Anyway, look, so uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The box on the right hand side there, you can write your message in there, click on it and send it. Uh, and that's the one that comes up in the white box underneath. Now I do need to just say something. Last week we had people saying, oh my messages never get read out. We read out as many messages as we possibly can. Just if, if we have a sudden flurry of the white box ones, Cat can have 10 on a screen and then when the 11th one comes in, number one drops off the screen. So that's why sometimes we don't show the white box ones. Uh, anyway, back to the um, pre-order, so the, the website. So now if you scroll down the page, in a minute there'll be two columns. The one on the left-hand side will say show deals, and that's everything we've shown so far. And then on the other side, which you're seeing at the moment, is pre-order. Now, you can go in and buy any, any, any of these now. You just click on it, put in your basket and check out, and it's yours. Everything, so there's Alice and Mary and Mary Alice. And, oh, hang on, I haven't got that Velcro. Okay. Oh, hook and loop tape, sorry. Oh, it's, yeah. Uh, then we've got the Fisker's ruler. We have got that. Then Emma's up doing her, there's her three colourways. Oh, now. That's new, isn't it? Because they normally just show a picture and go rainbow and things like that. Then we've got Emma's made a mode of holiday Christmas. Uh, two Christmas ones and a Halloween one. Or oh, three Christmas Halloween ones. You can buy the pattern on its own. Now, stop. Look at these gorgeous backings. No, no, keep going. The, the cream, the grey and the pink. They're ruby star, extra wide, speckled fabric, right? It's absolutely beautiful. It is a bundle of two and a half meters. That's a lot of fabric, but you'll need a piece that big if you do. I don't quite know which one you'll put the cream one with, but they, uh, the, the pink one with, but there you go. Moving on, we've got waddings. Lovely. Then we've got, uh, right, Tucker the turkey is back in stock. It's going to stay on um, pre-order. Oh, yeah, I said just come through when we're doing the menu. 
Uh, turkey is not for life, it's just for Christmas. No, that's wrong. Turkey is for Christmas, not just for life. Okay, and then we've got uh, fat quarters. Oh, now look, there's our advent calendar bag kit. It can't, right, now I've just got to explain something, right? You can buy the pattern, uh, no, the, the, the hardware on its own for both colourways. You can buy the fat quarters on their own for both colourways, or you can buy the whole bundle, uh, 29.99. 29.99 for the whole lot. Make 24 of those. Then you've got all your bits and bobs there. Then this is Emma Bradford's hour. That's the wreath and that's the mistletoe. And there's the instructions. Then that's it for uh, Sewing Street. Then, of course, we go to Yarn Lane. Now, normally we wouldn't show you like, Yarn Lane now, but it's Christmassy and it's lovely. It's all knitted. Look, there's one, like you see a couple of things up there. What's that? There's that cake. Is Alison Marion made a Christmas cake? You made a cake? What's that there then? Oh, it's a gingerbread house. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, well, uh, gingerbread's great. Have you seen it? <laughs> okay, so if you go to Yarn Lane, they'll be showing a previous Yarn Lane on there at the moment. So you get to the website, www.yarnlane.com. There it is. Now you click on Watch Live, and then... You scroll down the page, right, there you go. So there's the gingerbread house. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's a doorstop. Oh, and the aircon's just kicked in, everyone. What have you lost, Alice and Marion? A cutting mat. A cutting mat. What did you do with Alice and Marion's cutting mat? Green one, can you see it? There, oh, look at those. Miniature clothes for that. Oh, I like those. Do you get the coat hangers and everything? We haven't opened the bags yet. Those are on the set. Spot them on the set. They look bigger than that in real life. Uh, Christmas stockings kit, kit. What else we got there? We've got an advent calendar garland. That's pretty, isn't it? And then what's that one there? Santa and Snowman. That's the one behind Alice and Marion on the set. Cat wants those for her hat. Oh, look. That's not a hat. It's oh, not that one. Oh, they're bottles. Cat's had that on as a hat this morning. It's a tea cosy, not a hat. And the bottle warmers are not, oh. Uh. Hang on, hang on. So are they, that's not mulled wine in there because that'd be hot. You don't put mulled wine in a bottle, do you? That's just red wine. Keeping your red wine warm, I suppose. Anyway, all that coming up in Yarn Lane. So let's make a start. Let's make a start. Spoiled Alice and Manning's got loads to make in, in no time at all. Right, now, before we go on with anything else, I apologize. It does look as bad on telly. In real life, my hair's looking all right old state today. Yep, that's what I'm doing first. This sold out when Alice and Marion, Marion Allison was in last time. 10% of today's stock has gone. It is the memory photo quilt. Now, it's just instructions, no fabric in there. But inside here are the papers to do the, the... Basically, you can put a photograph onto fabric and then sew it up sort of thing. Of whatever you like. So, like, let me show you this one, right? This is what the quilt... This is what the instructions will make. Obviously, you don't have to have all these old people in black and white on it. Is that you at your wedding? No. That's Mike's mum and dad. What year did they get married? Oh. I Late 40s, early know. 50s. Yeah. My mum had a bouquet almost yeah, identical in 1952. To the floor. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Who's that? Who's the sea devil? Oh, that's Mike's dad. Oh. Yeah. He didn't end up looking like his dad, did he? <laughs> I'm only, I'm, I'll tell you why I'm, I'm being, being picky on Mike this morning, right? Mike is Alison Mary, Mary and Alison's other half, right? Are you married? Yeah. You just, yeah, yeah, that husband, right? Parked in my parking space, right? <laughs> so I arrived and that there was, uh, and they all laughed and giggled and Alison was like, did, Alison Mary was going, did you not see the star, Mike? Anyway, then he went to leave because he goes off for the day and everything. Goes to back to bed yet. Yeah, and then he couldn't get in his car because I'd parked too close. So I then had to reverse my car out <laughs> for him to get in the car. And I was late anyway. Anyway, look, these are, so what you, could, what you do is you get up your favourite photos, you print them onto the fabric, they fix them, and then they become, isn't it? Oh, that's a nice one as well. It's my mum and dad. <gasps> oh, look at her dress. She made that. Did she? Yeah. What year was that then? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, look at the horrible wallpaper. <laughs> look at him in his unit. Oh, yeah. aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. Are they watching? Oh, they will be. Are yeah. they home? No, you've yeah, got them they home will counting be. beads. They're Mum's counting charms. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's when you can do it in black and white. These are just ideas. And then when you were on last time, you did this one, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it's worth watching the, the demo. What date was it, please, stuff. Kurt? 
5th of October, 5th of October. Right, let's have a quick look at these pictures then. This is all my Becky. Oh, they're all Becky? Oh, it's yeah. boring then, I'm not sure. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's Becky, your daughter, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Becky Mutton, that's yeah. what she's called. Yeah. Right, okay, so that's the, that's the kit, 15, 19, no fabric, but all you need, the instructions and the, and more importantly, the pieces of paper to do your photographs. And the instructions, on. what to do with your um, pieces of paper, because it's really important that you mirror image your, your um, photos. Oh, oh, so well, that's all in it's there. It's all in it? there, yeah. Kate says, morning, John, that's lovely Christmas things today. I love the memory quilt, brings a tear to my eye thinking about it. I yeah, know, gorgeous, isn't it? A quick message from Anne. Uh, hi, John. Can't think of Christmas. I'm moving house on December the 23rd. Ooh. Oh, Anne! Still enjoying Soane Street, though. Love to all. Anne in Anglesey. Why did she used to move? It's really funny because I was supposed to move that date 10 years ago. And then the people who were buying my house messed up, right? And I couldn't then move till the 15th of January. But everything was packed. So I was in the house with all boxes <laughs> around me and everything. Anyway, so that's the memory quilt. That's not what we're making. Don't forget... Tucker is back in stock. He's just on pre-order at the moment. We'll be talking more about him in the next hour. Say that again, Cam. Oh, he's selling very quickly. He might be sold out by the time we get to him. At, uh, we're not making him today. We're having a recap of his tale later on today. And he said he's not doing a strip tease today. That's <laughs> definitely not happening today. That's the code if you want it there. HC6641. Anson Marion's Tucker the Turkey Kit, very, very popular. Last time he was on, he sold out within seconds, yeah. didn't he? Uh, we've got, I'm saying he. Uh, we've got, do a boy turkey is the same as girl turkeys? Do they all look the same? Well, I'm sure there are no, a few differences. Fundamental yeah. differences, but like, do they look <laughs> the same? I don't know. Right, let's talk about this then, because we're making this today. This is gorgeous. Now, now, I ate a table runner, I have to say. Yeah, I know. But at Christmas, <laughs> But at Christmas, they're very good. Put Thermalan in them. Put two layers of Thermalan in them. Put all your hot pots. I still put table mats underneath. Oh, do you? Yes, oh, I... Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got it in two colourways. I've got it in this colourway and another colour. So let me do this one first. So this is this one. So you get a metre of the... I've not seen this fabric before. It looks very much like that. Uh, oh, is it Annie Downs? I thought it looked like yeah. uh, Lynette Anderson myself. Doesn't got a name on it. I don't know. Anyway, look. Isn't she a country singer? Is it what? Isn't she? A, oh, that's no, Lynn Anderson. Oh, stop it. <laughs> so you get a metre of the green gifts there. You get a metre of the lovely subtle holly and half a metre of your red stars plus uh, the instructions. £39.99. £39. Now, it's enough fabric in there to do the back as well. So all you have to supply is either the wadding or the thermal to go inside. It's what? It's Danny Down. <laughs> Annie Downs. No, it's not. It's Rose and Hubble. Yeah, the the other ones. Are. Oh, those. Yeah. Right, okay. Kat's not in the mood. She's very tired. She's still got 26 shows to go at the theatre. She's got 28 shows. You'll be regretting all that. Oh, I'm going to go back to theatre. She thought it was going to be like a Cliff Richards film. Anyway, look, 39.99. Enough to make the front. Do you know what I'd do? I'd put calico on the back or another cotton and then... Oh, hello. What was that? I just fell off then. <laughs> and then save that for, for another project, personally. But it's lovely, isn't it? Have a look at the wall hanging there. Everything. Everything that you can see, like I just said. <coughs> Beautiful. Right, now I do have it in a different colourway. If you want to see it in a different colourway. Same pattern, but then this is more... Well, you can see for yourself, more green, I suppose. That's the one I'm... Don't know. That's the one I'm going to use. Oh, That's no. a different colour. Oh, it is. Oh, why is Alice and Marion being sent different wrong fabrics? Oh. Right? Right, have a look at the have a look at the thing because you, you've got that fabric. I've got the two and you've got ones, that fabric, but, but you've not got that different. one. We'll just check the kit to make sure. I think it'll be this one because it's called green, and yours isn't green this really. It's more is of it? a teal, isn't it? We'll just double check in the kit. We've got it right. You've got it wrong. Oh dear. Uh, Stuart said, I'm loving the knitted tree decorations. Oh, yeah, they go. 12 o'clock, Stuart, they'll be on. Belted crimbo shirt, John. Belting. Oh, belting Christmas shirt. Thank you. <laughs> I'm talking about my belt. And she says, yes, John, retire to York, beautiful city, only an hour to the coast. I'm off to Scarborough for the weekend with my mum. Oh, have a lovely time. Have a lovely time. Morning, Alison and Emma, says Sue. Morning, John and team. Cat's purring at you. Karen says, good morning. Maureen says, good morning. Kate says, morning. Listening in whilst working away at the day job. Loving the shirt. You must be watching as well, then, if you can see my shirt. <laughs> anyway, this is what you get. The green. 
Hang on a sec. Pick up the green. There you go. Good job. 39.99. Again, enough fabric to do the front, the binding, and the back. And you get your instructions. If you want the instructions on their own, you might have your own colorway that Alison, like Alice and Marion has over there on her desk. Oh, it's this one, that's actually. The, She's brought this on actual one with yeah. her. We'll show you that in a second. Instructions on their own, 9.99. There you go, 52 by 18 <laughs> inches. Uh, there you go, there's, oh, that's lovely, isn't it? What fabric's that that you've used there, then? Oh, I, I kitted the fabric last year. This was last year. Oh, well, last, last year's, year's fabric, when okay, I did right. That, yeah. Nice, yeah. Mm. So you, if you've got your own fabric that you've bought from, say, a Liberty Christmas fabric, one of the many, many Christmas fabrics we've had. Oh, there you go, Jan's up. Morning, John and lovely Alison. Oh, oh, oh I didn't get thank lovely. Thank you, Jan. <laughs> Uh, right, you will need some Thermaland to go, well, you might need some Thermaland to go inside it. You have to look at that because something dropped on the floor, didn't it? I'll get it. Oh, will you? Thank you. I'm wedged in on my stool. <laughs> Thank you. So there's your Thermaland. I would put two layers of that in if you are going to put hot pots on it. It already cut, come, now, I got, is it, yeah, this one already comes pre-cut. Yeah, Five ninety nine. So if you buy three of those, you'll get three of these bags. Okay, and then, or you might just want to put normal wadding in by the half metre. This is 80-20 uh, wadding. So you, you just need half a metre, wouldn't you, for that? Graphics will come in. No, that's not the right one. We're not paying, we're not paying you. Oh, John Scott, you're just gorgeous as always. Jan, you know the right things to say to him. <laughs> Karen says, we all know you're lovely, John. All right, then, all right, then, Thank you. I'll take that. A half metre, six ninety nine. Uh, now this it comes off. Oh, yeah, this comes off the bolt. This comes off the bolt. So if you want three metres of it, you'll get a three metre piece of it. It's two hundred and forty four centimetres wide, almost a hundred inches wide. Six pound nine nine. This flies out. This is in every single hour. This today because it absolutely flies out. Alison, Marion, Marion, Alison. Good morning. Morning. How are Hi. we? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. You're looking very well. <laughs> thank in, you. in fact, each time you come in, you look. Improving. Yes, <laughs> not, not improving, but you look kind of, I don't know what the word is, blossoming, blossoming. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, right, go on with your sewing then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the ones that I did last year. So if you're buying the, the pattern on its own, obviously, um, you're going to choose your own fabric. Of course. So, but, um, yeah, I was sent these colours. Yeah, you've been sent a different, you, the two main colours are the same as mine. Yeah. Oh, no. It's the, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's just the, the dot, dotty one, isn't it? Yeah. Your dotty one at home will have the dark, like old, what's that sports More Christmassy colour. Yeah, racing more. car green. Yeah. Your green, your yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's a nice easy make. Oh, um, is it? Because I thought it'd be difficult with all those angles. No, it's not. Um, it's a good one if you're new to quilting and you haven't done anything on the bias because you do have to be careful this obviously this seam here yeah. is sewn on a, the bias of the fabric um so it's a nice big piece to sew rather than little pieces yes. to start off with so if you want to start with something on the bias it's a nice um nice way of starting uh -huh. and then it's just all strip work so what i've done because it's, it. it's big, it's big. So rather, I wouldn't, with all the best will in the world, I wouldn't get a lot of that finished. Yeah. So what I've done is I've done this one to actually show you um, where we're going to quilt it once I've shown you here. Mm -hmm. Because it's quite a novel way of quilting the trees. Yeah. So that that's for a bit later on. Okay. But obviously you're going to be doing your cutting to start off with. Uh-huh. Cat wants me to re reiterate, <coughs> you are not get, you're not getting that green, you're getting this green. I was just looking, has Emma got this green in her quilt as well? Is that the same as the green behind yes, you? Yes, it is, it's that one. I bet that's where the confusion is. And that's come. the red star. Oh, yes. So I'll just get my cutting mat up a minute. Mm -hmm. It's a little board. Yeah. So the easiest way, oh, excuse me, <coughs> The easiest way of cutting out, you've got your template in the pattern. Right. I haven't got one of those here. Would you like that one? If you get your template. If you cut out your template, the easiest way... Oh, no, I haven't put it in there. But then yours will have at home. Yours will <laughs> yes, have a template. I haven't template put it in there, in it. sorry. <laughs> um, is to actually cut a strip off the um, length of the template. And then right. all you're going to do is you're going to just cut off 
mark down your your sides from your template and then all you have to do through several layers you can do this um i've got one of these at home i have got a new one because i broke oh one. have you <laughs> Don't yes, don't pick it up by, by I always this say bit. that when I when I yeah. do that on my own I go, now nah, listen, how yeah. is it? In fact I think it was my I blame Mike. I said Mike pick yeah. it up. <laughs> no, I did. Yeah, don't keep picking it up by this because it breaks. Yeah. So I have got another one. Yeah. yeah. But it's nice and easy, especially if you've got any um, trouble with your hands. Yeah. You don't have to actually grip anything. So what I've done is I've used the template, cut off the length, used the template to mark out my shapes. Yeah. And then I'm just going to cut out the, the triangles. And that's all it is. So you're oh, going okay. to start off with those. Then and how many layers did you cut out then through that? Oh, there was only two there. But oh, you okay. can put all the three colours together. You can right, cut all thanks. the three colours together with this. Yeah. Not sure I would try it if I was using it with a normal rotary cutter because yeah. it might slide a mm -hmm. little. And then for the um, for the binding, I'm going to need four two and a half inch strips. So right. I've already cut this off here and, and marked it. So right. it's going to be so we've got two and a half. So I'm mark looking and I'm going to find the two follow and a half with the, the two and a half, which is along here. Yeah. And that's it. Now this is four layers because right. I've got it folded twice. And that blade, I have to say, isn't new. That blade is one that we've all used over and over again. So well, I'd never changed the one that I broke, oh, and you? I do all of my kit cutting, oh, all the fantastic. fabrics for my kits, because you you don't get too much pressure. You know, no, you only get the say, correct when pressure. You, when you're yeah. doing a rotary cutter by yeah. hand, you're pushing really hard, don't you? Where's yeah, that? and you might be going, you know, but with this, it's it's so easy. Um, Rowaline says, Morning John and Alison, this will be my first project as soon as I'm fully recovered. Still poorly from Covid, but watching your programme every day brightens oh. my day in every way. Oh, lovely. Get you, well Rose. soon. That'll be lovely. Yeah. So that's really quick and it doesn't, doesn't move yeah. either, which is something that uh, a rotary cutter and a ruler can do. So if anyone is looking for something for... Yeah, it's your Christmas list. Yeah, yeah, but you kind of think, oh, 64.99, but actually... It's, it's worth, worth every, every penny, penny it? it really is. It's like we always say, all of these gadgets, they're not exactly necessary, but, but they make your life a lot easier. Yeah. If, you, uh, if you enjoy your quilting, these things, you know, you start off and you think, oh, I can get away with that. And it's like we say, always buy the best and the biggest yes, you yeah. can afford because you'll easily outgrow mm -hmm. the stuff that you start with. Um, Sylve says, morning, you lovely lot. How fabulous to have both Alison and Emma on at the same time. Yes, Emma's lovely. I've just met her for the first Aww. time. It's really lovely starting to meet people. Yeah. Um, one thing that's handy to do is when you've got your fabrics, the right fabrics. Yeah, the green. <laughs> is to decide how you're going to lay it out because obviously you've got half a meter of, of green. your green so that um, is going to be fabric two right D but the other two you can swap around you can right. have them where you like mm -hmm. it doesn't matter for the middle but it'll make a difference with where you have these and which you have your binding because my binding i've done with the with the holly leaves yeah so that's going to be my outside binding mm -hmm. So then to assemble, it couldn't be easier really, you've got, oh I will explain on this one first before I start doing it because if you have a look on the original one, because it's a table runner, you want to make sure if you've got a directional fabric that, um, peop this one isn't directional, but you want to make sure that someone sitting this side of the table has the right um, yeah, way up. The right way up, and someone this one has oh, the so right way up. Oh, alternate them. Yes. Yeah. So because that's why you've got them laid out so that one goes that way and one goes right. that way. Right. Okay. So that's why. Oh that yes, because you're all going that like you've got there. It means the person on this side of the table when you when you have trunks yeah. and trees, and the person yeah. on that side of the table will always be upside down. But I did it like this on my little sample piece here, because I thought the kit is for the um, table runner. Mm -hmm. But that would make a nice table mat, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, lovely big <laughs> table mat. No, no. So definitely. I thought, well, I'll play with it. And yes, I mm -hmm. have put these two like that. So that's up to you. So if you wanted to put it on your sideboard, you wouldn't necessarily want them no, like alter, that. So you would yeah. do them. If you've only got one side you're looking at, 
then you can lay it differently. Or if you make it a Christmas wall hanging. Yes, yeah. that would look lovely yeah. as a wall hanging, wouldn't yeah. it, like that, with them all the same way up? And then yeah. you could decorate each tree. Yeah, you could. I did think, actually, it'd be nice to have a little star at the top. Yeah, a bit late now. <laughs> yeah, too late. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're going to do is take on your, your triangles, and obviously that one's going to go like that. Mm -hmm. Then we want the third colour. And that's going to go like that. So then we're going to go back to this one. So you can see that laying them out like this, you've got them the opposite way round. So yeah. this is a layout for if you've got two sides that are going to be looking yeah. at it. But this is where I said about this is on the bias. So you have to be careful. If you haven't done anything on the bias before, I'll do it on one of these. Did I'm you not going to use. First? You could do, couldn't yeah. you? Yes, that Morn would give it a little bit more. Morning, John and Alison. You both look super today from me, Julie, in South Yorkshire. Oh, thank you, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> me, Julie. Me, Julie. Look. Oh, I didn't look. Yeah. And oh, yes. says, more, uh, morning, John, Alison, Emma and crew from a very, very windy North Somerset. Oh, mm. gosh. I'm it's heading that way. <laughs> Why are you? Well, I'm going to Cornwall after the show. Oh, yeah. the storms. You Becky's be birthday tomorrow, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll show you that on the one that I'm not going to use. Mm -hmm. If you stretch this... Yeah. You can see that because it's on the bias, it's going to go out of shape. Yeah. So that's the only thing really that you have to be aware of, mm -hmm. that when you're joining these together, you don't want to stretch them. Yeah. So I'm not going to pin them. Oh. You can pin them if you like, if you'd feel more comfortable, but they're straight lines and you've got, you know, if you don't go too quickly, you can easily move. Yeah, yeah. So... We've got quarter inch seams. Let's give that one there. And I, I definitely wouldn't use clips on this because no. they're quite heavy. Yeah. So they are likely to pull. So all you've got to do is make sure that you're not having any stretch. Just let the sewing machine take it through itself. Um, the machine, look, is the 580 plus. Now, Stuart, la not launched it, but did a deal with this yesterday, that was it yesterday or the day before. Um, you get a free walking foot worth 54 pounds. Try saying that. A free walking foot worth 54, is it 54 99 Something like that. But that, that's only until Sunday night. At midnight on Sunday night, that offer disappears. So you get, an, if you do come in and get the 580, lovely machine. Watch Stuart's show on it the day, yesterday, yesterday and buy it before Sunday, um, because after Sunday you don't get your free uh, walking foot with it anymore. Oh, and also I've got to tell you very quickly, tomorrow morning, Native Lighting, we've got it at eight o'clock. Uh, everything on three-way split pay tomorrow. Everything, uh, from Native Lighting, not everything in the show. Everything, everything. So right, I've pressed this, but because I'm going to add something to this seam here, I've pressed, I'm pressing everything to the seam that I've already done. So when I come to this one, I'll press that there so that it lays nicely when I get here. Because if not, I would have the seam, I'd be sewing over it. So again, we're just going to sew down here. Ooh. The trouble with using the cutter is it sometimes leaves the thread, doesn't it? And you can't get your next piece of fabric down in. Uh, question from Helen. Good morning, John Nelson. Has Tuck of the Turkey gone? I can't find it on pre-order. I'm loving the de demo. Thank you, Ellen. It is not Helen. Ellen. Thank you, Ellen. Uh, go to pre-order. Oh, there it is. There's the code. HC6641. No, they can't have all gone already. A lot of them have gone. A lot of them have gone, oh, but not gosh. all of them. There they are. There's the code. Just type that in and it'll come up. Becky Alexander Frost. Morning, John, Alison, Emma and team. Morning. Morning, Becky Alexander Frost. Right, so there we go. Mm -hmm. So again, I've... This is an old one, Where isn't did it? you get that dirty old board It from? was here. It's oh. horrible, wasn't it? There isn't another one. 
No, 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 that's, that's not even the cut and press. That's the stretchy one. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll find the other oh, one. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, so you just carry on. Yeah. Like that. How um, many are there on the table run all together then in the middle? Yeah. I've got it here. Would you like to count? <laughs> yep. One, two, I mean, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's, it's a good... Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, seventeen. Oh, there's a half of one at that Oh, yes, end. because you cut at six of two colours and seven of another. Yeah. So, yeah, I should have been able to say that, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm going to start with another colour. Uh-huh. So that's going to go over... And then I'm now starting back on the colours, but they're going to be the opposite way round now to the ones that I've already done. Uh huh. Susan says, Good morning, John and Alison. Loving the demo. A bit chilly here in Derbyshire. Going out today. Ooh. Ooh, somewhere yeah. nice. Yeah, where are you going? Oh, maybe it's meant to say, but not so not going out oh. today because it's chilly. Guess he said it was freezing this morning. So you. I don't know whether you can actually see, and my hands are in the way, aren't they? Yeah. I don't know whether you can actually see. I'm just lifting, lifting the fabric over rather than, rather than pinning. I mean, you can if, if you want to. You've just got to be very mindful of making sure that you don't... Oh, I'm caught in cables again. There you go. Is that one in? That you don't stretch it. Yeah, I'm listening. Thermaland sold out. Oh gosh. I don't know where the best breasty board's gone. No, I couldn't see it earlier on. Oh, it's in the guest room. I'm not going in there because Emma will be swearing over her <laughs> sewing. You'll be able to hear on a mic on my microphone. <laughs> so you've got all your strips and what I do want to do, I want to show you how I actually quilted it because it's a lovely, easy way to quilt. Uh -huh. So um, let's just cut off the outside edge. I think this person lives near you. Morning, John and Alison from a wet and cold Staffordshire moorland. Oh, yes. That's near must you, Must do, it? yes. Yeah, must do. Oh, Susan's got a new car, so she will be going out later in her new car. Oh, what can right. I get? When I've been looking at new cars. <laughs> when you cut off your end yeah that makes the uh the end of the table runner yeah you make don't go right up to the um actual stitching you need to leave a quarter of an inch there because obviously you're going to add course, a piece yeah. add a piece there so that's what you've you've done you've actually uh there we go obviously you would measure it rather yeah. than just winging it yeah <laughs> so you've got that there and then with your strips of fabric that you've got, you, you're just going around. A, it's a bit really like um, when you're doing log cabin. Uh huh. You can either do that one, and then do that one, and then do that one. But I prefer to have um, on both sides the uh, join oh the seam go yes. yeah yeah so, so I do way, the top different seams at each corner wouldn't you yeah you're gonna do it like you but I prefer to have it a little bit more organized yeah. Yeah. so you do one at the top and one at the bottom and then you'll do the two sides right here so I'm just lay this out so that you can see Get uh, the morning gist. Alison John I just thought I would let Alison know that Tucker is all good and recovering from his claustrophobia <laughs> Heidi in Heidi I in Scotland. <laughs> Thank you very much, Heidi. I'm really pleased about that. <laughs> it's an in joke. Oh, sorry, it's an in joke. We're, we're <laughs> no, not Heidi. <laughs> Heidi messaged yesterday when I put Tucker's picture on the fans page, poking his face poking out of the back door on the way yeah. on the journey. Um, she said that. Uh, She's got the project. She must get it out of the cupboard. And I said, well, yes, he'll be getting claustrophobic oh, in the bag. Oh, yes. <laughs> and then, thank you, just ordered Tucker. I bought this table runner last year, but didn't have the time. Uh, but I will. It's in last year's colour scheme. Oh. Ellen. Oh, lovely. Yes. Was it the, the green one? And there, I think I did penguins as well. But I didn't get to demonstrate it. So I'm glad I'm here today. <laughs> I was, oh, I was whisked oh, away. Oh, that was the day you could... Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. Right. 
So that's basically what you're going to do. You're just going to keep adding. I was looking for the... Uh, there is another one. What are you looking for? I had some of the... This one... Oh, there it is. This one cut out. So that's all you're going to do is you're going to do your tops first, top and bottom, and then you're going to do your two sides uh -huh. and you're just adding the strips there. Lovely. Um would you like to me to just show you how to join a strip on Yes, please, if because that's right. if anyone minutes. hasn't done it before that's why I thought I'd get that one done because I do want to show you how to quilt the trees. Yeah, of course. So Oh, it'd help if I had two fabrics the same, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. That one and that one. Right, if you, you're going to join, you don't want to um, join straight like this because you're gonna, it's going to be quite see that, bulky. Jessie. So don't do it. Do it show that again, Adam. We didn't see that. Right, if you do it like that, you're going to, it's going to be quite bulky yeah. in, uh, in that one place. So what we do is we do a, a join. So you put right side of fabric to right side of fabric at right angles. I'll do it in there so that you can actually see yeah. what I'm doing. I'll pin it. I don't normally because it's uh, one of those things that you uh -huh. get used to doing. Of course. So I'll pin it there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew from this join there mm -hmm. to that join Diagonally. down there. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to do a straight line across there. I'll take the pins out. I haven't got my pin cushion on today. No, I where is it? Well, I didn't think I was going to be using pins. Oh. So <laughs> and then we'll just trim off the excess on the short ends, not on the long ends. Yeah, so you're going to yeah. on there. Then we'll just take that little ear off there and fold. And you've got a nice join where you can fold over and it's not too bulky. Yeah, because none of your I'll seam press it. are all. Yeah, I'll just press it. A minute. <laughs> this is awful. So there we are, and then we can trim that back. Uh huh. And you've got a nice one. Yeah, we? lovely. Just there. So across there. Mm hmm. Perfect. So that's a nice way because you do uh, for the first row you go round, you can do it with just a, an ordinary strip, the width of the fabric. But yeah. then as they get bigger, you do need to join them. So of that's course, a good yeah. way of joining. Mm -hmm. So now I've done that, I'll get rid of all this and bring this over. Ooh, got so much here. Remember, if you right. get this one, your green is a different green to the one that Alison's got. Your green will be this green, like a racing car green. When, or or anti is it called antique green? It's an old green, old green, not the uh, kind of O'Donnelly colour. Right, what we're going to do with the, with the trees, I've gone round all the, these here, I've stitched in the ditch there, around, around the outside. So you can see that on the back look. Uh-huh. So I've stitched in the ditch all around the strips and I've also done the trees and you just start at one side, go up there, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah. So you don't have to sort of do one and then change. But what you're going to do in the, in the trees themselves, we'll go down the centre, mm -hmm. mark down the centre of the trees. Oh, it helped though it was in the middle, wouldn't it? You can use chalk or anything like that. It doesn't have to be a friction pen, but these tend to show up well. On I've the got, telly. you're using black one. I've got a red friction pen if you want one here, BKP250. 
a red, red, red oh, friction. Oh, there you go, red friction <laughs> pen. Three ninety nine, fine red. <laughs> Question from Glenn. Morning, John and Alison. Can you tell me when the red cushion on the shelf is going to be shown? Glennis, not Glenn. The, with the red cushion that knitted in uh, Yarn Lane. Yarn Lane, 12 o'clock. Right, once you've got your centre line, yeah. you're going to mark two inches down mm -hmm. from the top. There's a little bit there that's uh, not going to be covered, mm -hmm. but we've got four two-inch marks. So we've got one there, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is going to um, make your branches. Oh, okay. So one, two, three, four. And then you're going to take from this point here, you're going to go to the one above, you're marking above that on the next tree. Right. So you can go from there to there. Now you don't have to draw this in if you don't want to, but if it's the first time you're doing anything like this, it's nice to have a line to yeah, follow. Yeah, definitely. And also, for those who don't know, te test your friction pen first, but obviously ironing over the top, the friction pen will yeah. go away. Uh, morning to you both. Lovely to have you back, John. You've been missed. Lucy, I've, I've only been off for, th was it three days? Been off? Four, <laughs> four days, four days, four days. But thank you. I was busy doing pavers in York this week. I need some new shoes. Hmm? I need to, oh, I'm at that horrible age where I want comfy shoes. Oh, don't be, what you say, the papers are only comfy and not stylish. <laughs> no, we had red, oh, no, you had some red bother boots this week. You don't oh, like really? those, yeah. <laughs> um, but what did you say, Jesse? No. No. Yeah, it did sound like I meant that, didn't it? But yeah. that isn't what I meant. <laughs> but they are very comfy. But they are, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Deborah sent in a message saying, Hello, John and Alison. My lovely husband just bought the rotary cuts from my birthday. Oh, oh from lovely. My birthday descent from Deborah. Debbie. You won't be disappointed. Do you mean the one with the, the ruler? That one? Yeah. Brilliant. Very popular. Very popular. Brilliant to use as well. Oh, what you mustn't do, though, is hang it from the handle either. That's one thing. There's a hanging hoop at one end, but don't hang it from the wall on the handly bit. That's all. Yes. There we go, I'll do that one there. And you can see that now it's building up. These are going to be the lines that uh, we're sewing along. Mm -hmm. I'll just measure this one a minute. That way. What are you doing now? I'm going to do the sewing now. Oh, okay. I haven't got this one marked, okay. but. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start one end, one end here, and I'm just mm -hmm. going to sew down there, pivot, and go up. Okay. Pivot now what and go what down. Thread, have you done anything glittery pivot. thread? No, I haven't. In that one, I did do green, and in that one... Did red. Yeah, I did red. Yeah. Um, I do uh, make the stitch a little bit longer, uh -huh. up to a three when I'm quilting, because obviously you've got the layers. Mm -hmm. And I normally say a walking foot, but this is quite heavily quilted to start off with anyway. And I didn't use a walking foot for this. But if you buy the sewing machine, yes, you, you get, get the one. free walking foot with you it. buy one, you get one free. Yes. No, no. Well, no, you don't get one for free, you get a walking foot for free. <laughs> Suzanne says, morning, John and Alison and the team. I'm with you, Alison. I hit 50 last year and no longer want heels. <laughs> 50, Suzanne. You should be tottering around in great big six inches at 50. June says, it's lovely to see you back, John. It feels like you've been away forever. <laughs> the thing is, uh, the reason you've got spoiled is because I've been doing all the Vixie shifts and everything. Before Stuart came to work here and everything, it's back to normal now. I'm back to my normal 14 shifts a month now. So you'll only see me a couple of times a week from now on. So, so I'm just going to the next centre point. Pivot. 
and carry on down until you can meet the next one. Mm -hmm. Just make sure your needle's always down. Yeah, when you pull out yeah. to pivot. It's such a nice, easy way of getting the effect of the branches. And then you see, you might want to do scallops and do like in glitter, so it's like tinsel or something. You could do it so that you actually look as if you've got swags on the tree, yeah, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shall I do another one? When and do you then put I'll your take the decorations up at home. Mid December. Yeah, I'm like that. A friend yeah. of mine puts those up on the first of October. Oh no. I know. <gasps> Think of the dusting. I know well no, apart from the dusting. <laughs> but just like you'd be bored well, though, wouldn't you, by Christmas? Um, Becky Alexander Frost said yesterday she puts them up. I think she said the day before the day before Christmas Eve, I think it was. So the 23rd. Yeah, and then it comes down the day after Boxing Day, oh, I no, think. My, mine used to go up on Christmas Eve and come down on Boxing Day. My oh, outside really? ones Oh, it's so longer. much. Mind you, I have a lot of decorations. No, you see. If, It depends how I And also, you'll have the whole family coming around. It was only used to be me and the yeah. cats, you know what I mean? So. No, I, well, we have boxes and boxes down from the loft. Mike loves it, don't you, Dan? I bet he does. He's asleep <laughs> in the hotel room. He won't be no. watching. <laughs> um, He's probably having his breakfast. <laughs> Cat's doing hers after Christmas, the weekend after Christmas. <laughs> You'll be so tired, Cat, from all your yeah. extra, uh, extra shifts. <laughs> yeah, I thought it would be quite nice also if you, you could applique little stars, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Or a star button. Or you could buy that, yeah, I was going to say, or you could buy those star sequins and things yeah. like that. Or you could buy like little sequins and do ball, the baubles ball on balls, the trees. Yes. Oh, there's so much you could do. <laughs> the trouble, no, hang on. The trouble with sequins, if you put a hot pan on them, yeah, they might melt. Might know, yeah. yeah. But like I said, I always, I never trust a table runner anyway. I always <laughs> put a row of never table mats on Alison Marion, I never trust a table runner. <laughs> <laughs> that should be on your that's website. Quote, that. That's the quote of the century, yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, if you've got a posh them. table, if you've got a posh table, the last thing you want is like pot pan. Yeah, pan well, we mat. have our uh, Christmas out on uh, in the conservatory on mum, Mike's no mum and dad's in posh table. There's all those boxes. <gasps> I have a storeroom now. Oh, they moved now? Have you not now? seen the new photograph? Oh, no, the last oh, photo well. I saw was a conservatory with like, you yeah. couldn't move it. <laughs> yeah, because Mike had um, a sign made for the door. Yeah. And it says, um, Alison Marion designed secure area, uh, only invited, uh, something that invited Invite guests. Invite only, yeah. Dehumidified area. So <laughs> <laughs> my mum went over and she said, am I allowed to go in? Oh, <laughs> so where, where's your storeroom come from then? It's an old garage. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it's just off our laundry room. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, now, th just to recap, the machine, the machine that Alison Marion is using is the 580 Plus. Uh, Stuart did a whole demonstration on it yesterday and you get a free walking foot with it worth 54, oh, they've just put 54 pounds. I thought it was 54.99. 54 pounds it is, 54 pounds. Yeah, I've left Mum counting charms today. Oh. <laughs> the, 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 the foot, the walking foot, free Oops. walking foot is only available till midnight on Sunday night. It disappears at midnight Sunday night. That's a brilliant offer, isn't it? Mm? That's a brilliant offer. Oh, yeah, very good. Very yeah. Good so it's the next one on. You know, we have the 550, 560, 570. This is the next one up to the 580 plus this one. It's got the same casing as the 680, but doesn't. Don't be thinking you're getting the 680. It's a 580. I've got the 680. Then we've got the 780 as well. Now I need to tell you, loads of seven. When Becky Alexander Frost on the other day, if you're interested in the 780, which Emma's going to be using in the next hour. Becky Alexander Frost did a whole hour of it earlier, and uh, not earlier, the other day when she was in, and loads went, loads went. What do you get? You get a free. Oh, that'll make it worth the while. You get a free Becky Alexander Frost panel. Oh, that's a machine. Go and watch Becky's uh, uh, demonstration on it. They're all available on Split Pay as well, look. And there's fewer than five of those left available now. Fewer than five of those. Uh, right, I need to recap. Look at the time. Yeah, I'm just going down the you, trunk you now. You keep that's doing what it. you've got to do. I'll yeah. do the bundles, right? So this is, can you chuck me my pattern back? Right <laughs> uh, 
to start with the green. Now remember, you will get this this old green. It's called old green. You won't get the O'Donnelly tearly green that Alison and Marion had. So you get a metre of that, metre of that, half metre of that, and your instructions, 39.99. Annie Down fabric plus Rose and Hubble fabric. Well, you know, that's £30 worth of fabric there, plus your 9 99 for your pattern. Then you can also get it in the red colourway, which is the right fabric. Lots of the red one in baskets. Please make sure you check out. It's not yours till you check out. So you get a metre of the holly leaves, a half metre of the red, metre of the gifts, plus the instructions, and that will make this one. Remember, there's enough fabric in there to do the front, the binding, and the backing. Oh, now you've pieced your backing. Do you need to have, do you have to piece the backing? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, it's, it's quite it, it's nice. I dab it that way up. Instructions. Look, if you're not using it for Christmas, that shows the uh, quilting well. Yeah, on the back that there. looks lovely that way up, doesn't it? Look, a little bit of chevroning going on there. Very neat, Alice and Mary, and that's because the 580 sewing machine. <laughs> instructions on their own are 9.99. Now, in yours, you will get a template, won't they, Alice? Yes, they will. Yes. <laughs> she just forgot to put one in this. That's why we won't have to show you the template. <laughs> This is our telly one that she literally always brings me an open one, so I don't rip so it. Oh, yeah, you and don't this like is recyclable. No, yeah. no, because it's, yeah. it's recyclable and not uh, compostable. Co decompostable, that yes. <laughs> Susan says my mum's in her eighties and won't let me and my two sisters help with any cooking for the Christmas dinner for fifteen members of the family. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, Debbie says morning, John, Alison, and team. Great show this morning. My decorations go up on the first of December. That's Debbie Harris. Well, now you haven't got a job. <laughs> I'm very confused. I got I got them muddled up. Now I, t I said the other day that Dawn Taylor had left a job, and poor old Dawn Taylor was going, "I haven't left my job. I haven't left my." <laughs> but she had left a job. Oh, it was just very confusing. Anyway, Debbie's on at the uh, Harrogate stitching and stitching, knitting and stitching show. If you want to go and see her, not Debbie Harry from Blondie. It no. looks like that on her little picture, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And also, Jessie gets very confused. Yeah. Things haven't changed. Right, I've got to really recap on um, Tucker the turkey is coming up in Alison's next hour. We're not actually making it. We're just doing a recap on the tail. And there are some availability on the memory quilt, right? And uh, what's the other thing you do? Oh, I'll tell you what's selling really quickly, really, 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 really quickly are uh, the advent calendar. Right, so there's T Tucker. He's available on pre-order. This is the memory quilt which we showed you at the beginning of this hour. That's flying out. But then what's really selling fast is from uh, Alice and Marion's next hour is the advent calendar, uh, advent bag. Is that what it's called? Advent bags? It's not very attractive, is it? <laughs> what's it called? Can we show a picture, Jesse, of the advent bags hanging <laughs> down the wall? There you go. They are flying out. Absolutely flying out. Uh, Right, uh, lots of options on those. Don't go anywhere because Emma Bradford's up next. Now I've got to show you these two pictures first because I think Jessie's made these while the show was going on. These are some computer generated pictures of two of the colorways that we've got coming up. There's the rainbow. That's what you can make and it's huge. It's huge. And we've also got it in the Christmas colorway to say, oh, oh, oh. We also have it in a purple colorway, but nobody's bothered to color that one in. We'll see you. <laughs> in four minutes from now. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. We know
know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hello, I'm Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. I've been a quilter for 25 years. I began sewing and quilting by hand, but now I offer long arm quilting services and I run patchwork and quilting classes. You can see me regularly on Sewing Street demonstrating patchwork techniques. My top tip is there is no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. There is no such thing as the quilting police. Outside of quilting, I am a qualified botanist and I enjoy riding my motorbike around the country. I hope to see you soon on Sewing Street. So many messages coming in, I can't believe it. Carol says, working on Christmas Day and around Christmas, I probably won't put any decorations up at all. Oh. Carol, I'm working Christmas Day, I'll be here. <coughs> well, as far as I know, I'll be here. Um, Viv says, my family stay for a week of Christmas in a two bedroom flat and there's 11 of us. Viv, where's your top and tail in the bed? Jan says, forgot I'd take my other after the doctor for a blood test, I'll be back later. Oh, Jan, you're just going out as Emma starts. How rude, how, oh, she's not how rude. <laughs> uh, Kat was going, how, how, how? She's having trouble with her words today. Um, sounds like my mum's at Christmas, great family get together and no one gets out of their seat in case someone nicks it. <laughs> oh, well, you know, last year I was on my own now egg and chips, didn't I? Because last year they suddenly put that ban thing on, you know, that we couldn't go anywhere. Well, they could go somewhere for the day, but by the time I'd finished here, no. I think we need to get going with these. I mean, it's up to you. You're the producer, actually. Right. Emma Bradford's here. Oh, she's disappeared behind the desk. Uh, give us a quick wave. Emma Bradford, looking very Christmassy. There she is. Oh, you're looking lovely. Thank you. Still losing weight? I've gone, I've gone up, up ever so slightly, oh, but I'm getting back on track. Oh, I was going to say, you look, you know. Oh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> well, we gorgeous. had the wedding and everything, so yeah. it overindulged at the wedding. And We've been, oh, your brother's yeah, wedding, yeah, yeah. of course, yeah. yeah. Were you bridesmaid? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it a lovely day? It was. It was really nice. We had a nice, lovely boat trip on the Thames because it was at Mar yeah, Milo. Yeah, and it was a nice day. Oh, yeah. oh lovely. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Day. And you love your jumper. Thank you. It's Where's Asda it? Special. It's what? Asda Special. It's an Asda. I was yeah. like, I thought it was a designer on that one. Oh, well done, Asda. <laughs> right, OK, now uh, I'm going to do what Kat tells me to do. We're just going to recap some of Emma's other quilts here. I've put them in a different order, but here you go. So Emma's been on before and she did Christmas in Quiltsburg. Quiltsburg. Like no, Edinburgh. Quiltsburg, that says. Yeah. It's Borough is B-O-R-O-U-G-H. It's it like, like Edinburgh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Berg. Christmas in Quiltsburg. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, what you get is you get uh, two metres of the grey. You get four fat quarters and you get this lovely merry and bright me and my sister um moda 10 inch squares what date did we do it on 25th of september you can see that being done that's an emma design there uh, we also have that in a different colorway in a more green or well, pale blue background 
<laughs> There's only four of these left, though. I do need to tell you that. So this one comes in Moda Holiday Christmas Essentials with Stacy E.S. Tizou. Uh, then you get your four fat quarters, your pale blue background in that one. And there, finished quilt size will be 55 by 66 and a half. Oh, that's on the graphics. I wonder how you did that so quickly. Now, I've got those instructions on their own. Yeah, instructions on their own. Oh. No, no. Okay. I've also got now... <laughs> I looked at this and I emailed Kat last night going, there's the Halloween version here, right? Now, I need to warn you, right? You won't get it, for, you know. It might be for May from next Halloween. But you, what you get is you get your four fat... Oh, no, there's only three fat quarters in this one. Three fat quarters, the chambray background, is that right? Mm -hmm. And then here, you've got your tiny treaters, Riley Blake. There's your Halloween quilt, $79.99. If you want the Halloween, right, okay, now. Oh, yes, they are different because this has got bats on it and the Christmas one's got Christmas trees yes, on it. Yes, yes. I was about to say, you could buy different. this and make it in Christmas, but you'd have to have Christmas bats then in this one. Yes. They're not doves. They're definitely <laughs> not doves, Kat. Susan says, I love your jumper, Emma. Oh, thank Lulu you. Lulu says, morning, John, loving all the demos, off sick and in bed. Oh, no. Margaret says, beautiful jumper, Emma. Ah. Oh. Uh, okay, right. Let's talk about this is what we're here for. It's Emma's trip around the world in a jiffy bag. Quilt. <laughs> in a jiffy quilt, right? We've got three colorways. We're going to start with Christmas, right? You've seen a pop quarter of it, or not less than a quarter of it, a piece of it hanging behind um, at, and Alice and Mary and Mary and Alice in all morning. But this is what it will look like, computer generated. That one. That's what it will look like. Oh, it's making my eyes go a bit funny, right? <laughs> now, for $69.99, it's it. Look at the size of it 87 and a half inches square. It's enormous, right? So the, you get the instructions, Emma's instructions there. Then you also get a metre and a half of all of these fabrics. So you get the green, you get the red, you get the cream, you get the red stars, you get the grey spots, and you get the old green spots. So it's one, two, three, four, five, nine metres of fabric, one and a half metres of each, plus the instructions, for $69.99. That is brilliant. Now that's for the front. Would it be enough to bind it with as well? Or do you I need think you, I think you might have enough to bind. For scrappy it. bind. Scrappy bind. Scrappy bind. Yep. Scrappy bind. Scrappy bind. Beautiful, wouldn't it? Look lovely. So that's your Christmas version. Yeah, I'll show, we will show you the finished size quilt later on, but yes. it's not in the right fabric. It's in Emma's own fabric. So I'll show you that later on. But it's 80. What was it? 80? 87 and a half. 87 and a half by 87. That's huge. Right, purple next. I have no picture for purple. There's only eight of these left, right? Yeah, so I let's quickly gorgeous. look at the colours. So you get purple. You get purple. <laughs> you get purple. You get purple. You get purple. And you get purple. You get purple. There are nine metres of varieties of purple. I'll tell you which purples they are. That one's purple. <laughs> yeah, imperial. It, the purple imperial or imperial purple. Yeah. Amethyst lavender. Oh, you're, oh, you're not oh. reading them out of a sheet. I thought she was... I don't think Kat should work in the theatre and work here at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Dulcie says, watching whilst packing up costumes for the latest job. I'm here with Lucy Capron, the rest of the lovely crew. Alice, Dan, Nadia, Ellie and Chloe. They're from the Matilda film. Oh, oh. yes, they're from the Matilda film. They're packing up for the Matilda film. Finished today. It's their last day today. I oh, know. Harvey will be glad because Dulcie will be home. You know, Harvey used to to meet the cat. Um, Dulcie's home now. She'll be happy. Aww. It's who going back to the band. Purple, Imperial. Lavender, amethyst, magenta, light lilac. Is who going back to the band? 
Yeah. No, that was Koki working on the film, not Dulcie. She's getting you muddled up with Koki now. Koki's the director of that film. <laughs> anyway, there's only six of the... Do you know what? Even if you're not going to make this, what a beautiful colourway to have in your stash. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I would make a lovely Bargello. Hmm? Bargello. Bargello. Beautiful, aren't they? Now... Oh, now in the, instru in the instruction, uh, no, instru in the description says you're only getting half a metre of each. You're not. You're getting one and a half metres of each. Nine metres of fabric in total. Oh, hang on, look. 87% BD you're getting in this one. I don't know, what does that mean? That means 87 and a half. For some reason, the percentage BD is half. Anyway. <laughs> and there's no pattern in this one either, I noticed. You've just done all planes in this one. Yeah. Do you know, no, you get the instructions, you get the instructions, but in that one you've got yeah, the stars yeah. and the spots, and in this one the rainbow, just it's all, all solids, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Which one? Oh, you're doing the Christmas one, aren't you? Yep. Okay, that's the purple one. Very, very, very popular. I went to Lucy Capron's wedding, you know, it was gorgeous. It was in OK magazine. Anyway, this is my favourite. <laughs> this is my favourite. This one won't hang around at all. This is rainbow, right? So you get the instructions. And then you get orange, yellow, purple, green, blue, and red. Put it simply. This one's all right. Look, eight, seven and a half by eight, eight seven and a half. Yeah. Oh, look, there now. You see, now, look, this is the, this is the um, computer-generated version of it. I'm not sure I'd put it in that order. Is that, was that your choice of order there, Emma Bradford? Yeah, I just tried to do rainbow. Oh, you went... Richard There's no York. green on that computer generator. Oh, it's out there. It's very pale, isn't it? The green it's very on there. pale, yeah. I think it'd look even more beautiful in real life. R yes. So you went, Richard of York. You went, Gay. Gay battle in vain. You battle went that vain. way. Yes. You went that way. Oh, maybe that would work. Maybe, maybe you are a designer for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I might model dark and light. You know what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. But the oh, thing yeah. is, it's your quilt. You do it in whatever order you want to do it in. They are your six colours, a metre and a half of each, nine metres of fabric in total, plus your instructions. I love it. I've got an around the world quilt at home and I love it. It's beautiful, isn't it, that one? 69.99. How am I off the stock of those then, Kat? Or oh, I'll just scratch my back while you're watching. <laughs> Oh, no, we're all right on those at the moment. The purple one's flown out. Mm -hmm. um, I think these will go. I think these will go. By the end of the hour, these will go. Well, you're not going to see that one demonstrated. You've seen the Christmas one demonstrated. Yeah, I'll come over. I'll come over and grab one corner oh, of yeah, the yeah, finished yeah. quilt. I haven't got this colourway. This is Emma's own personal colourway. Are you all right there? Yeah. But look at oh, the oh. size. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I grabbed them all. Oh. Wreck the joint. Mm -hmm. look, yeah. look, 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 look. Hang on, though. Look. Look. You go this way a bit more. You go that way. You go that way a bit. There but we go. But then you, we need to look. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, it's huge. It's absolutely enormous. Uh, so are they all three of them? All three of them, 69 Yeah. Was the Christmas one 69 as well? Oh. <gasps> That's enormous, isn't mm -hmm. that? Imagine that on your bed because yeah. it would like flow oh, over the sides would. and everything, it wouldn't it? It would be it? nice, yes. And now, it is really quick. That's why it's called Inner Jiffy. Inner Jiffy, that's inner why it's called bag. Inner Jiffy because <laughs> it's so quick. Or, uh, what I need to point out, this one here has, f was it 15 fabrics in it? 13. 13 fabrics in it. Yours has six, so you'll have repeats in yours. Yes, which will be And also, really one too. of those fabrics, see that one in the middle there? That's one of the fabrics. It's just one square in the yeah. middle sort of thing, so... Anyway, isn't it lovely? And the size is incredible, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, how are we going to fold? Let's do it like my mum used to do sheets when we were little. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's do it. Which way are you going? Patterned out. Patterned out so we can... Yeah, mum, I am patterned out. Cool, cool, cool. I've oh, got a question from Jeanette. Looks yeah. fab. Will you suggesting how to quilt the finished quilt top, please? I'm never sure what to do. Oh, oh yes, we will. yes. What you do is you send it to Emma's <laughs> company and get it long arm quilted. Which way are you going to go now? Um, if we go this corner to that corner, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, don't touch me, stare me no, to no. apart. I'll leave. Right. Oh, we can do the instructions on their own if you've got your own fabric. So, I've got what? 30 of the instructions left on their own, that's all. Lorraine, Crazy Lorraine says good morning. Oh. 
Uh, 9 99 the instructions on their own, and it's got all the layout that you need here. There's only two of the purple left. Huh? Two of the purple left. It's very, very busy. Emma will explain in a second what all this is about, because basically you make it in four quarters and then join it together like that. But Emma's going to explain all of that in a demonstration so I can be quiet. Uh, now, before we get on with the sewing, I just want to show you some of these backing fabrics, because I've never seen these before. Um, oh, you've not done them before? They're new. Um, these are fabulous. Oh, now let, let's do this one first. Oh. This is my favourite. <gasps> now, this is the most exquisite. The, the, oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, I'll just do it like this. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay, hang on. Oh, wow. Now, remember, it's 108 inches wide. <gasps> Imagine that on the back of the purple one or the back of the rainbow, rainbow one. Now, you're wondering why is it 16.99? You are getting two and a half meters, right? And look how wide it is, right? This is how wide it is. No, 274 centimeters wide. Look. Yeah. So it's actually bigger than the quilt we just held yeah, up. Yeah, so literally you just, you would have no seams in it whatsoever. No. It would, you could just put it on the back of the quilt and it's beautiful. It's so soft. Look, 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 look. Isn't Gorgeous. that just exquisite? Now, even if you're not buying it for this quilt, have it in your stash. You can do dressmaking with this. Oh. You can actually, it's good enough quality to use on the top of a quilt as well if you wanted to cut it up or have it as a background of a quilt or anything, but it is stunning. Oh, think of the borders you could cut from that without any seams. Yes, yeah, exactly. 100% cotton. Beautiful, isn't it? 100% cotton, Ruby Star Society, X wide backing, speckled berry, that's called. Oh, she's a dame now, isn't she? Mary oh. Berry. Oh. She got dame yesterday. Oh. Hello. Okay, now, I'm going to have to let that go, but Jessie can fold that during the show. <laughs> right, then I've got it in a soft grey. You see, this one would also look lovely with the purple. Yeah. We called it, I'm not going to open this one, don't worry. Speckled Dove, this one's called. $64.99. Oh, sorry, my red booking. That's the sort of backing that is lovely if you have it long arm quilted and have a contrasting thread on the back. Oh, yes. Good advert. Swift quilting, long arm. <laughs> what, what? Oh, purple sold out. Oh. Purple sold out. Right, okay, so this one's the Ruby Star Extra Wide Speckled Dove. Oh, we've not done these before, apparently. I've never seen them before. They're lovely, though. Oh, you see, Kat would put that one on the Christmas one. Very nice. Very nice. And then last but not least in these, I've got two others to show you very quickly before I must start saying. This is like a cream. I'm going to wait. It's not white. They've called it white, right? It's not white no. because look, um, I'll put that next to it. You see, that's white. Uh, well, I don't know if it'd be cream either, because look. Oh, yeah, it's going towards cream. But it's got a, I want to say a dirty cream. Yes. Like a clotted cream. Yeah. Clotted cream, that's what this is. The top of a cappuccino. Mornings to show and keep me company today. Off work, sick. Oh, lots of people off Ooh. sick today. 63.99. I'm not sure why the grey one's a pound more expensive than the other two. We'll find that out for you. We might have it dropped down, but at the moment it's a pound more expensive. Then I've also got the green linear. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, I think I might only use that one with the rainbow yeah. one. I think it would go with Christmas. Oh, you think it would go with Christmas? Yeah. $43.99. No idea why that is. Wow. $43.99. You get two and a half meters of 280 inch wide, 100% cotton again. Lovely, isn't it? Mm. Beautiful. And then last but not least in the backings. I, don't, I love this. I'm surprised we've got any of this. Oh, do you know why? This sold out the other day, but they'd already bundled it for this show. That's why I, ha I, I mine sold out, because I had it and it was sold out. Here you go. Look, this is lovely. Jot Dot, this is called. Jot Dot. 63.99 again. I wonder why the linear one was so much more affordable. Anyway, isn't that lovely? Mm -hmm. See, again, I'd do that with the, either the purple or with the rainbow, personally. Right, should we do some sewing? 
Oh, if we must. Right. So you were saying it's quite easy. This it program. is. It is. Um, because you sort of, it, it's all in strips. Right. So it, it, there isn't a lot of fussy piecing to go together. So you're not it's getting loads and loads and loads of three and a half inch squares no, and, and sewing them it's all much together quicker. and matching all the corners. <laughs> no, it's much quicker than that. It's, it's more similar to how you would do a bar jello. Right. So you first cut your strips. This is where the... Um, the um, stripology. Stripology, which I love. Stripology. So you oh, start yes, because everything's going to be the same size, isn't it? Yes. You can cut strips of the so same you can, size. Yeah, so you can use a stripology, which I've already cut my, my strips out, uh -huh. to cut your initial strips from the fabric, but then also to cut your strips from your pieced bits once it's all done. Right. Which is what I'll show. Okay, brilliant. So I've already done one set of strips, bar one, basically. Okay, so how many strips have you got there, then? So I have got two of each colour. Right, so there's 12 strips then. Yes. And you can do whatever order you want. I've just chosen this order and the computer generated ones are just orders that I've chosen. Right. But you don't have to have them in this order. If you want to alternate more, so reds and greens and, and pales, You'll oh, get... yes, because you put uh, like a couple of reds together, a couple of greens together. If you wanted to, you could do white, red, green, white, yeah, red, yeah. green, white, red, green, or yeah. something like that. Which would be really effective because then you've got all that those stripes basically that come out. So, and it's all quarter of an inch seam. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to sew this onto the end of here. Any tips of sewing the strips together? The only tip is keep your seam allowance consistent. Right. So, quarter of an inch but if it's slightly smaller or bigger it doesn't matter so long as it's consistent throughout the whole of the quilt. So use the same machine, same foot and everything for the whole. Same settings. Same, yep. same setting yep. and everything. Sue says morning John and Emma and Alison crew watching from my sick bed. Oh. Paulie Lurgy. Love both your Christmas chop tops. So, oh thank you. Yeah uh, can you tell me what time the making of the Soman and the Father Christmas bunting is? 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. It's Yarn Lane. It's knitted. Yarn Lane. And we will be going at 12 o'clock. Don't you worry. <laughs> you just... No, I'll just leave it. You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, it's, this machine is, reduces the stitch length. Oh, automatically, yeah. Yes, for when it's in a quarter of an inch. Yeah. So I'll just increase the this speed. This is the 780 machine. Now, there's less than five of these left. Uh, uh, was it, uh, Becky Alexander Frost demonstrated this machine the other day. She got her three weeks ago. She absolutely loves it. And you do get a free Becky Alexander Frost panel with it. Ooh. And you get it on split pay. Look, £399 five times. What? Please go and watch her show. It was on Tuesday. No, it wasn't Thursday. It was the day Vix was on. <laughs> Thursday was yesterday. Oh, cat's given up. We had a message from who? Terry. Hi, Terry. Oh, here you go. It's very chaotic this morning. Oh, wow. Hi, John, Emma and team. I made this quilt two years ago. Really quick and easy, especially with yes. the stripology, stripology ruler. Mine is just a lap quilt. Oh, it's Terry in Upfield. Hello, Terry in Upfield. Now, mine's that size as well. Well, I've got that size. Oh. Now, hang on. Have you got bigger, some bigger stripes in yours? Look, you're, or not all your squares are the same size, are they? Or have you put two squares together? Is it two squares together? Oh, yeah. You see, at the, the, yeah. at the crosses, it's like the, it's a wider... The, a wider strip. It could be. It could either be two to put together. So, ah, I know what Terry has done. So remember what I talked to you this morning about the construction of the four quarters yeah, 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 plus yeah, yeah. the strips in the middle? I think Terry has omitted those strips in the middle. Oh, so that when so it joins, join together. yeah, it looks like they're rectangles. Oh, oh so uh, yes, because we'll, we'll come to that. That's the bit yeah. I was pointing out. Like you make four quarters and then add bits together with sashing in between. That's what it is. Yeah, but you could, you could totally easily make this quilt look like, like that. that. Yeah. Yep. Carol says, good morning all. Debbie says, thank you. You're welcome. We'll see you at 12, mm -hmm. Debbie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got a cutter on that machine. You could have pressed. I know. I don't, I don't tend to do that because I like to hold my, my threads. 
Yes, so it doesn't cut right off. Yeah. So now, uh, pressing wise. Pressing wise. So I, when I do sets of strips, I tend to press the seams open. Oh, okay. Now. Controversial. Um, I know. Why do you do that then? I do that because I find that the strips sit straighter than if you press it to one side. At least it could be the way that I press. Mm. So when I press them to the side, my strips tend to banana a little bit. Oh, okay. Well, they oh, I don't think I've got the graphics for the iron today, have I? It's nice and hot. No, the big iron. Because the big iron would be brilliant for this. Yeah. I <gasps> launched this oh, last week with my. Gary, for, and it's the most fantastic wow. iron. Whether you do it steam or dry, because I know a lot of quilters yeah, don't yeah, want yeah. steam. You can use it dry as well. It's just fantastic. It looks a we'll serious get the graphics, piece of I'll kit. We'll get the graphics, I'll show you that later. Serious piece of kit. Yeah. So you we've got end... 50 pounds off at the moment, isn't it? Oh, wow. So you'll end up with um, six, six sets of strips like this? Uh-huh. No, do you? You could check the instructions. I thought you were saying it's quarter. Well, you, you, one set of strips doesn't quite make a quarter. Oh, okay. So you'll need... The iron is on pre-order if you want it. I'll tell you about it later. Pam Mini Harney says, good morning, John Nemmer. Just back from oh. the school run. Sat oh. watching with a very large hot coffee to try and warm oh. me up. Is it oh, that cold it outside is. today? I was cold last night. I haven't brought a coat or anything. Oh, look at you. Oh. Very American. Well, I'm very butch living in the country, so it's, 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 it's the farmer blood, you know. <laughs> so once you've got all your strips sewn together, yeah. you then sew together your first strip and your last strip. Right. So you end up with a tube, a tube of strips. Mm -hmm. So, so do you quickly. cut all of the fabric up to make this, like, did you got a metre and a half of each colour? Yeah. You're saying we have six of those sets of So you will 12. have some should have some fabric left over. Oh, okay. So don't yeah. just all cut don't cut it all, oh, up, no, all, cut up, it all up. It'll say if you look in the instructions, it'll tell looking, you how I'm many looking. how many strips how many strips per fabric. Fabric crime. Sixty cents uh, for the cutting. Where will it say? Under it should say under cutting, how many strips to cut per fabric. Marking and cutting. Cut five four inch strips from each of the main fabrics. So you're Oh no. So that's when it's twelve. Oh, that's the other thing we have to point out. The instructions have been written for twelve yes. fabrics. So you do twice, twice as, as many. many. So you cut ten four inch strips with the fabric from each of the six fabrics. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So what I would do, uh, where in the diagram That's only in the a meter. instructions. You're only using a metre of each then. You have lots left over. Oh no, because you've then got to cut the middle one. Yeah, yeah. But you've got plenty of fabric, is what I'm saying. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, in the diagram, in the instructions, there's a diagram, a layout with yeah. all the the fabrics one to twelve. Oh plus yeah, the just, so just show that. So what you can do is once you've decided, you can either sort of colour in to sort of practice what colours you are actually going to be. Yeah. Or just mark which ones are going to be which colour to correspond. Yes. Yeah. But yes, because you've only got six colours. Yeah. Rather so than you'd need to cut colour in number one and number seven yes. as the same colour, yes. and number two and number eight as the same colour. Exactly. Yeah. And then cut one. You'll have one extra square for the very centre. Yeah. Purple bundle sold out. I've only got the Christmas and the rainbow available now. Nine metres of fabric in each one. Christmas is the main graphic there. You get nine metres of fabric. One and a half metres in each fabric. Oh no. Right, if you're sending, if you're sending white square, look, this is what's happening. Oh, we've got Christine's postcode. <laughs> I'm showing that. Um, uh, look. Look, they're just, we're, we're not reading the message out because they're all arriving empty. Oh. So if you've sent your message, try sending it again or send mess message me on Facebook Live. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just try the second one. Back to the machine in there. Perhaps we've got nothing to say. Mm -hmm. That's a 
Tom Jones song from your musical. So I won't press, normally you'd press that seam, last seam open. Yeah. And that's easy to do on a, if you take, do it on an ironing board. And oh, pull it you over put the it on, yes, exactly. On the yeah. But now we get to cut the four inch strips across this yeah. way. So you just treat this tube just like you would a um, length of fabric. So you just line it all up. Uh huh. Now, if you haven't got a stripology, you can do this with a normal. Just ruler, a regular ruler. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. The stripology just makes it that much easier. Yeah, and quicker. Yes. Now, I do recommend having a nice sharp blade for this part because there's a lot of layers. Yes. Plus seams that you need to go through. Yeah. So have you changed your blade then? Uh, uh -huh. I think it's pretty. Pretty okay, recent. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, we'll you know see. me. It wouldn't be right if it went through all in one. Oh, feels pretty good actually. Oh, good. Yeah. So that's squaring it off really, isn't it? You've gone through naught, and then you're yes. just going to go through four inch. Yeah. Well, Chris has just uh, inherited photos from the 1940s and 50s oh. and going to make Alison's memory quilt from oh. them. Oh, lovely, That Chris. would be lovely. Right. Now, just you cut, cut up all, every piece now, don't yes. you? You cut no. all yep. of them up You go now. straight across, yeah. you cut it all. And all of them. All yes. the tubes you've made, you cut through everything. Yes. If you're not sure, do one tube at a time. Yeah. So definitely the one to start off with. One just tube. To make sure. Tube. What colour have you had your hair dyed this time? Um, so I think she takes just takes the colour out anymore because it's pretty white anyway. Is that your hair colour? Mo it looks like a fabulous platinum. Oh, thanks. Like Marilyn Monroe-ish almost. It's... Um, it's that colour in the front for sure. The back is a little bit dark. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, okay. so I'm like, nah, just cut to the chase. Let's just go all white because oh, it's going to wow. happen at some point. Oh, I thought you'd had it. Um, it's very fashionable to have it that colour, isn't I think it? So, yeah. My hairdresser, actually, she's a lot younger than me, but she's had this hair colour for a long time. And I just oh, like, right. I want your hair colour. Yeah. And um, we just gone with amazing. it. It's amazing. Oh, the light's just glinting on it. Really. Oh, thank you. It's like Christmas hair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And how's Mikey? He's good. Well, he's good. Oh. His, his team didn't get, his baseball team didn't get to the finals or the World oh, Series. Oh, that's the that's end cool. of the world, isn't it? I know. Yeah, well, he's, he's so his depression again because <laughs> they've never, I think maybe when he was eight, he started following them when he was eight. Yeah. So I think right about that time, maybe they had made it. Oh, no. But they haven't since. And now so. he's in his, what, 80s? <laughs> yeah. I've just realised. Question from Jennifer. Ooh. Would the quilt be all right if you put some pattern strips in of your own? Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. As long useful. as the number is the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. definitely add some. Um, oh, well, yeah, as you can see, uh, that one, the Christmas one, has got patterned ones in. So all you'd have to do, um, what was that person called? Jennifer. Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, if you just replace one of those fabrics for a pattern fabric, don't try and do half and half or just put in one strip. I would replace one of those complete colours yes. with a pattern. Don't just try and randomly yeah. do it because it will throw the, pat the whole pattern of the off. whole quilt out. You, you can get away with it. If you've got at least um, three quarters of a metre of a fabric, you can get away with adding just... A one strip of that fabric, but in each of your panels. Right, right. Yeah, so you need oh, at yeah, least so if three I'm two in. You'd yeah. have one in, and then yeah. yes, okay. Yeah, so you could and, do that. Okay. Yeah. And then Chris says, 
Chris says. Hi, John and team. Please can you tell me if the Christmas in Quiltsburg instruction are coming back in stock, please? Just off to buy the memory quilt. Oh, we'll ask for you. I've only got the I've only got the Halloween ones to Well I'm just working out what the difference is. It is the appliques. You really need the appliques later. Oh the yes, because that's got, got appli appliqued Christmas trees on <laughs> and, and street lamps and this one's got okay. appliqued pumpkins and rail fences and things. Yeah. yeah. You def I'll, I'll, is anybody yes. in today? No. We'll email them now for you, Christine, my love. Have you got any at home that we can get from you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can, yeah, yeah. If you need, I'm if saying you, nothing. Okay, yeah, I can make that happen. Mm -hmm. Have you got a shop then? Have Swift Quilting got a shop. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. Saying nothing. <laughs> so I am just reverse stitching now. You're doing what? Reverse stitching. Reverse stitching. What I'm picking. And picking. Now, just does one it matter scene. where you <laughs> unpick the first one? No, it doesn't, um, it just needs to be sort of between strip number one and number 12. So the very last seam that you did. Oh, okay, Although so you've already chosen your order. Yeah. So you're na you've now unpicked the very last seam yes. that you sewed, but only on the first one. Yeah, okay. but ultimately it doesn't matter. Just if you want them in to be in a certain order, <coughs> pardon me. Oh, we have you drinking water. <coughs> mm -hmm. If you, want to have the, uh, if you want to have them in a certain order, you've chosen the order of your colours, right? Mm -hmm. So you need to work out. So where does that one that you've just cut, where does that come in the quilt? Hang on, I can see Ooh, it Oh, actually, I, it I think I've done it slightly differently. Yeah, oh. so, oh, the, the top left-hand quadrant. Mm -hmm. So whatever you're having in the top left-hand side, that's number one of your fabrics, isn't it? Yeah, although I think I've just, oh, yeah, no. No, you've done it in a different order, that one. Oh, I have. No, no, that's right, that's right, that's the way yes. up, that's the way up. That's the way up, but I, I've undone. Yeah. 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 So this one is actually... Later on. This next one. Yeah. So that's number yeah. two. Yeah. So look, because you've got the guide there, so you can see the top left-hand quadrant, whatever your number one is, is going to start up in that top corner. Yeah. But and if you colour this in... You've got four different ways you can you, you could colour that one and go, well, that's not quite right. I'll colour. I'd photocopy it. Obviously, I wouldn't colour in on the pattern because you want to keep the pattern. Mm. I'd photocopy that page and then just do some colouring in just to see the way I want it laid out, sort of thing. Christine. Oh, Christine. Christine, there, there it is. Nine ninety nine. Oh, she hasn't got to say she was going out. Oh. There they are, Christine. We have no idea why they weren't put into the hour, but there you go, 9.99. Sorted. Thank you, Kat. And there it is. Oh. oh, yeah, it depends which one you go for. Obviously, that's one colourway with the grey background. There's also the pale blue background. But if you're just buying the, if you're just buying the um, pattern, then you do your own colourway, couldn't you? Thank you. Well done, Kat. Well done, Jess. So now yeah. what are you unpicking now? Same thing, just a different seam. So what you do then, once you've started your first one, you just move down a square and unpick the seam. Do that you is... label them up when you first start, just so you know you're doing the right one between one and two, oh, two yeah. and three? Oh yeah, you definitely could, yep, yep. Just to start, because you've made, what, four or five of these now, yeah. so you're used <laughs> to it. But if you start off first time, each fabric, or have a chart mm -hmm. next to you going, this is number one, this is number two, this is number three, so that you can yeah. make sure that you're definitely unpicking All between those yeah. two two squares. The beauty is each quadrant is essentially the same. So each you can make four quadrants in exactly the same way, and then when you get to put in the quilt together, you just rotate them. Oh, okay. So if it's easier for you to just do them yeah, exactly but, the same. But what you don't want to do is halfway along, like if you get to the sixth strip, Mm -hmm. and you open, unpick the wrong two, the whole mm -hmm. pattern's going to be thrown, isn't it? You, it your is, just make sure, lie yeah. In situ. Yeah, but the thing is, it's really easy. Even if you unpick the wrong one, it's easy to just go back and redo it. And, oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. It's easy to fix, essentially. She says. Yeah. So you'll continue like that, and then you'll sew your strips together. So now, any tips on matching, that? because you have got to match those seams, haven't you? Yes. So that is the thing about having them open. So you could pin at each corner. Oh, yes. Um, they do tend to, if your cutting is accurate and your seam allowances are all even, they will match quite yeah. well. But putting a pin in um, does help at each seam. 
especially since your, your layer that's underneath will run through your machine ever so slightly quicker than your top one, yeah. just because of the feed dogs running it through. So yeah, having a pin at each junction. Or maybe having your uh, walking foot on at that point walking might foot. help, wouldn't it? And this yeah. machine comes with a walking foot. Yeah. Uh, I would say nesting seams, but it's hard because you'd have to press them again because if you press all your strips in the same direction, when you cut them, oh, all the seams yes, go in the same direction course, yeah. as well. So it's like that. So you end up with four quadrants that look the same uh -huh. of 12 strips So each. is that a quad? One, two, three, Not quite. Four, it's a five, one, six. two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I need two more. So two more strips on there would be a quadrant. Would be a quadrant, which actually is this. Is this no. No. This one. This is one. It? No. <laughs> it would have to be like that. So between the red and the yeah two reds. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, so yeah. a quadrant is slightly bigger than that. Basically. Yeah, two more than that. And then when you put your quadrants together, you'll have. One strip in between each quadrant. And again, the directions are in there. Can so I just show you, show you one here? Yeah, yeah. So here's your, here are your four quadrants you've made with your 12 strips going across. Jesse, just, oh, hang on, there you go. There you go. So there's all your three, quad, four quadrants there, sorry. So you start off with your one to 12 and all your different, but then what Emma's now talking about is so you've got those four quadrants, lay them out. But you need, if you want, <clears throat> now this is where, if you want them all to be squares, like trip around the world like yours is, yep. you need to do this. If you don't do this in the middle and do what, what was that picture? I forgot is the name of that Terry? picture that came in earlier with the, with the rectangles. Terry, that's right, of course it was Terry. If you don't do these lines in between, they'll go like Terry. So your, your middle things will look like rectangles, rectangles rather than squares, which is lovely as well. Yeah, it's not yeah, wrong. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it no, at all. No. But if you want it all to be squares like yours, then you need to do these. But you follow yeah. the numbers yes. that these are all on here, don't you? Yes, yes. And then you'll have one separate square, four inch square in the very middle. Right. In the very center. So now could you, I know we've got fabric num. Oh no. So we've got fabric number 13 in the middle. We haven't got a fabric 13. No, but then you'd have it as number one instead. Okay, or if you had a Christmas fabric Ooh, with a robin make, in, yeah, or yeah, if yeah. you, you could had put a it right in the completely middle. different colour to your rainbow, mm -hmm. I can't think of a different colour, but you could put that in the centre. Yeah. You only need a four inch square. Yeah, just or a four inch they, square. Are they four inch squares? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just a four inch square. So that could yeah. be a completely different yeah, colour yeah. then. Yeah, it could be a, right, a nice feature. Yeah. Really, right really nice. And then what? That's it. That's it. Oh, and then, oh, yes. One other thing. So, what I do recommend, because, and this is for any quilt where you've got seams that go all the way to the edge. Right. So, quilts that don't have a border around them. Once it's all finished, so a quarter of an inch in all around your edge, um, just the top stitch then go over all of your seams. And what that does is it prevents your seams from coming apart well, when you're handling yeah, because it. Because you've cut them all, none of the, well, and quilters don't normally do this, so they don't reverse at the no. end of the thing. So, so each, every single line of stitching hasn't got a fixed end. They're all yes, open, open, aren't they? Yes. So that's why you do that. So we call that just making a stay stitch. Okay, so you yeah, literally yeah, stay stitch. Do a stitch within the quarter of an inch seam allowance. <coughs> oh, I've done now. Oh, within the quarter inch seam allowance, you'd literally just straight stitch all the way round the outside. Yes. Yeah. If you've got an overlocker. Oh, you yeah. Could you could overlock. You could just don't cut anything off. Don't cut, yeah. Don't use your blade. <laughs> just no. overlock all the yeah. way round the yeah. outside. Yeah. And it's just literally to keep your seams together, especially where they've been pressed open. Yes. Because you can see some of mine are already sort of coming apart. Yeah. And but the last thing you want on something that big. Yeah. <coughs> it's going to be a lot of handling. All those hundreds of seams. Because yeah. there's hundreds of seams, aren't there? Quick message yeah. from them. If you're making the quilts a gift, could you put their initials on the centre square? Oh, Liz, yes. lovely idea. Yeah. Um, and as far as the quilting, because that was a question. Yeah, yeah, we've got plenty of time. So, so I haven't quilted know. this one yet, obviously. No. But what I will do <coughs> is a nice over, overall swirly pattern of some sort right. for this one. Uh, but if you are doing it on a domestic, you could very easily um, just mark with a friction pen, mark uh, a diagonal through all of your, your squares yeah. and just follow that diagonal. So just a straight stitch. And would stitch. you go that way and like cross hatch it? Would you go all going down that way and then? Oh, all... you could. Uh, well. Hang on, going down that way. Yeah, then you'd have yeah, to go yeah, down. Yeah, cross hatch. You could do cross hatch. Or what I would do to start off with is just follow the diamond pattern. 
Yeah. So just follow the pattern and then, because it would just enhance the overall pattern. Could you also like echo quilt, e <coughs> oh, excuse me, echo quilt each of the squares? Oh, you mean like go actually around? Hmm. Oh, yes, you could very easily do that. And that would take a long time. It would. But I, it yeah. would create that lovely tiled effect. Then, it would. It? And what I would do if I was doing that, rather than going a stitch in the ditch, stitch a quarter of an inch from the seam on either side. So you've got nice. Yes, yes, yeah. 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 Like train tracks almost. Yeah. OK, so now uh, advice on if you are working on a domestic, domestic mm -hmm. it's a big quilt. It How big would quilt. you? Because you're, you're, I mean, the thing is, what you can do is if you've done all of that and you really can't face, it's, it's, I, I'm not I'm advertising your company now, yeah. because, but we don't do it, so it's fine. Yeah. But it's not, exp it's not as if people think, well, I'm not sending my quilt off to have it yeah. um, long arm because it costs a fortune. I don't need to say the prices, yeah. but it's not well, as, it's not expensive, expensive as people think, is it? No. And it, I mean, I just do a flat fee. So it's a, a set price per square inch. And if you go on the website, there's actually a calculator where you can put your width and your length of your quilt and it will spit out a price. Oh, and, OK. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. But now, if somebody does that, do they supply the backing and the wadding and you... You don't have, they don't have to send it to you mounted to make it into a sandwich. Oh, no, no, just completely loose. So uh, I do have wadding and backings available. Oh, okay. Uh, but a lot of people... But if they wanted this, yeah, say yeah, they yeah. come if in they and they bought yeah. that lovely yeah. pinky purple one's on mm -hmm. the floor now, and they sent you that, yeah. and they sent you the topper, mm -hmm. and they obviously if you buy the wadding, they have to pay for it for you, or they yeah. could buy wadding from us, and yeah. they would just send you all three yeah, yeah. sections. Yeah, completely separate. It doesn't have to be... Uh, layered up or anything actually it's better when it's yeah. separate so just a separate top separate wadding yeah. separate I'm just saying that together. for this because yeah. this is so huge isn't it, it? Is. that I think a lot of people will go to their domestic and just go mm. where's yeah. it all gonna sit because if you're so you're, it's fine when you're sewing the first one or yes. the first three because they'll all sit in the throat of yeah. your machine but, but then when you, when you get, get to the, the middle. middle of that quilt if it's 87 inches wide you've got 40 inches of fabric in the throat and 40 inches of fabric going that way as well it's and and 80 inches coming this way it's a yeah. lot of fact if you've got a, a big desk it's very difficult to do isn't it, it is yeah and actually a lot of people um find that they physically can't wrestle it's so a quilt heavy. yeah or even if setting it up to layer to, to baste it basically yeah. to put pins in they just physically can't handle it so that's well, a lot of people well also who's uh, how many of us got an empty floor space oh yeah a big. you know i don't I'd have to move all the furniture <laughs> yeah. in the lounge to literally get it on the floor sort yeah, of thing. Totally and right. as you say, it's quite heavy yeah, just as just as like that. So once yeah. you've got wadding and you've got a this, so yes. you'd have put this <gasps> yeah. and that and and all that wadding, it's not gonna be light, is it? No. I'm just saying, I'm not yeah, I'm yeah. not trying to put you off doing your own or yeah. anything like that. But just think about and also that the 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 finish you can have <clears throat> on your domestic machine, I'd be tempted to say don't do swirls because it's so big that you're going to be trying to twist. You're going to end up with uh, uh, muscles like Arnold Schwartz or yeah. what's his name. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because you're going to be twisting and turning. But sometimes on a very, very square. geometric square quilt, because I've got that log cabin that Jane Alcott made for me for my birthday and everything. And then Amanda Little um, yep. did that. And it's all swirls and everything. Yeah. And it works so yes. beautifully. The contradiction between the swirly quilting and the very, very straight edges of yep. the fabric and things. Yeah. Anyway, let's, um, what are you doing in now? Oh, in the now's oh, time. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Christmas cushions. You're making the, oh, it's gone, where is it? Oh, it's behind the turkey. It's behind the turkey, it's behind the turkey. <laughs> We've got a panel where you can make either a cushion or a uh, table setting, table setting. So we'll yep. do that now, but let's just recap everything from this hour. So the purple one has sold out. Which one have we got? Oh, instructions on their own have all sold out, completely sold out. So which one would you like to go to first? Christmas first, so you get nine metres of fabric here, plus your instructions. So you get a metre and a half of the ivory, metre and a half of the old green, you get a metre and a half of the silver. These are all 100% cotton, by the way. Metre and a half of the red with white stars on. You get a metre and a half of, the, I think that might be, I don't want to say claret, but I'm not sure if it is. It's a dark red anyway. And then a uh, one and a half meters of the emerald. Now, if it says on the graphics on on the computer, on the internet, it says some of them say half a meter. You do get one and a half meters. Oh, it's been sorted now. You do get one and a half meters of each of those fabrics. You get nine meters of fabric for sixty nine ninety nine. Well, you know that these are nine ninety nine, so you're getting that 
for sixty pounds, don't you? Nine meters of fabric for sixty pounds. Fabulous, isn't it? And that would make that I've got a we've got a computer generated version of that one. Of the Christmas one. No, Christmas one. It's all right. There you go, Christmas one there. Obviously, you can decide which order you put the, the, the fabrics in. And then if you wanted to, you see the red square in the middle? If you want to put a, a different Christmas fabric in just that one square. Or, like Emma was saying, if you've got three quarters of a metre of a, another fabric, you can do, that's got two stripes of all the colours. You could do one stripe mm -hmm. with three quarters of a metre, because not all of us have a metre and a half in our stash of a different fabric, do we? If you have three quarters of a metre, you could do one stripe in each of the rounds and then you'll just get one uh, um, random square of um, a square of the different fabric so actually Christmas 69.99 then my favorite I love this one this is gonna look amazing um, I think I'd want to <coughs> bind that one in navy blue or have mm. my center square as navy blue or something like that I'd like it to introduce something like that into there so you get a meter and a half of the red meter and a half of the green meter and a half of the orange meter and a half of the purple meter and a half of the yellow meter and a half of the turquoise Plus the instructions, $69.99. Look at the size of the finished quilt as well, 87 and a half by 87 and a half inches. And there's your computer generated. The green in that one is obviously a much, much more yellowy green. Your green is a lot greener than it is in there. which is, So that would give you another contrast of a, of a stripe in that. I mean, what you could do if you wanted to is um, if you've got... Um, six more fabrics you've got at home oh, yes you could just you could just extend it like i know that i've got these but i've also got some liberty fabrics so i might be tempted to rather than do two red two green to do one red one green one orange one purple one yellow one blue one of each of my six liberty fabrics mm -hmm. and then mix and match those as well and that would give you a really really beautiful array because that would be the same as yours then every single yep. row is different would be different then wouldn't it yeah Actually, I've got a smaller one I've done at home, literally a small one like this that is rainbow. And what I did was I have a plain red and then a patterned red, a plain green and a patterned green. Oh, nice. Plain, yeah, so that it, you still, it still get all the rainbows, but it's slightly thicker. Yes. But yeah. you've got the contrast of plain and So you put a Liberty Cosmos red next to that yeah. one, then a Liberty yeah. kind of, I don't know, swirly leaf pattern next to that. Oh, it'll be lovely. Mm -hmm. Anyway, or you don't need to do any of that. You can just make it all out of this. For $69.99? Yep. Okay, now the backings. Um, uh, uh, there's a lovely purple, there's a lovely <laughs> pink one on the floor down here. Do you want me to get it for you? No, I'll get, I'll get it. it. I'll be fine. Stay with me. Jesse, I'm just coming around the front. There we go. This is stunning, this one. <laughs> it's like fuchsia, cerise, magenta colour. I love it. It's just fabulous. Gorgeous. The thing is, I can see a dress made out of that. Yes, because well. it is very drapey. It's very nice. It's, it's not... the same colour as Cat's car, this. I'm seeing curtains <laughs> as well here. 63.99 now. You are getting two and a half metres, but it is 274. So it's over two and a half uh, metres wide. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a massive, massive square, this. <coughs> Excuse me. Sheila says, morning, Emma John. I managed to quilt a king size on my domestic sewing oh, machine. Wow. It did take time, but so worth it. Emma, in your instructions, does it cover making a lap quilt? No, it's just for the big one. But you could, if you did smaller strips, narrower strips, obviously your quilt will be smaller. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. But you do the same technique all the way through. Yeah. So if you made the strips two and a half inches, mm -hmm. now that'd still be a big quilt though, wouldn't it? Because it'd still be 40 by four. Uh, what size is the lap quilt? But you could, you could make them two inch <laughs> strips, couldn't you? Yeah. Then make it much smaller. Or... Yeah. Just do six the six strips. Yeah. Still do them four inches, but do the six strips and then just be the centre central section, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? Oh, I see. So I instead of so. doing two of each colour, yeah. you just do one of each colour. So it'd be like your grey would be in the middle. Oh yeah. So it'd just be that yeah, that big. Six. There you yeah. go. Yeah. There. Yeah. You could do that. Yeah. Um anyway. Uh, this is lovely. Oh, the graphics are gone for that one. I've got it in the uh, Dove as well. Yeah. Wasn't it not called Dove? Oh, look, speckled. 100% cuts. Lovely, isn't it? 64.99. I've got gold and like pale grey speckles in that one. Again, you're getting the two and a half metres. We've also got in what they call white. Which is definitely not white. It's more like clotted cream, this one. Or a Greek yoghurt. 
Oh, everyone's got everyone's honey obviously. <laughs> There's no honey and blueberries in there. Oh, it could be honey. Could be honey in there. Yeah. Okay, and then this one is adorable. This dotty spotty one. Jotty spotty. It's called Jot Dot, this one. 63.99. We called it Dots Red. Uh, and then we've got the linear one, which is just a, a brilliant price, this one. Mm -hmm. Same amount of fabric for 43.99. Forty-three ninety-nine. Can I do what? Oh yeah, yeah. Coming up after the break, Alice and Marion is back. We are doing now. We're not doing a full demonstration on Tucker the turkey. A turkey is not for Christmas. It's just for life. Now that didn't sound right. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. Um, we're going to be showing you how to do the uh, tail. But we're also concentrating, which are absolutely flying out the door. These, uh, it's an advent calendar with a difference, isn't it? They're like advent bags coming down. Now, you can buy the kit with everything, the two different colourways. You can buy the kits with just the hardware in and the instructions. I'll show you when you come back anyway. Uh, remember to check out and everything. This, this, uh, uh, the rainbow one is suddenly starting to catch up with the purple one. So please be careful. We'll see you in four minutes from now. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family run customer service team are on call 24 seven. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hello, my name is Mark Francis and I'm a guest designer right here on Sewing Street. Uh, you may have seen me before. I don't know whether anybody has maybe tuned into the Great British Sewing Bee, but I was there for Series 6 reaching the quarterfinals. I'm now here on Sewing Street on your screens bringing you my very favourite sewing patterns for men, women and children. Uh, for dressmaking and tailoring. Uh, so you can fill your stash and your collection with my very favourite fabrics and sewing patterns, including my very own range uh, right here, exclusive to Sewing Street. Something you may not know about me, now let's have a think. A lot of this has been covered on the sewing bee, but uh, I am a Blue Peter badge winner. I know, I know. I haven't worn it in a while. Slightly too old to get into Warwick Castle these days wearing it, but you never, I don't know, do I pass for 16? I don't know, possibly not anymore. Um, and I'm also, hence the piano, uh, a pianist I've been playing since the age of seven, when my school teacher at the time taught me a little under duress from my mother because he thought I would be terrible. Turned out I wasn't, but there we go. Such is life, you never know until you give it a go. <gasps> Have I just invented a new catchphrase? I don't know. You never know until you give it a go. Caption across the screen, please. Thank you very much. So do join me popping up on your screens on here on Sewing Street to bring you my very favourite sewing patterns uh, and fabrics from across the range, including my very own uh, range of sewing patterns from So Mark Francis, um, including this very Turlo shirt. Um, more to come on a regular basis, so do keep tuned for that. 
Irish Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Oh, uh, right now, uh, Alice Marion Manleton's back, but before we get on with the main demo for today, we, oh, we, are we doing this way around or are we doing that way around? We're doing turkey first. Oh, are we? Yeah, sorry. I just looked around and I saw what she got. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be very quick. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be very quick. Right, let me just explain to you. When we did Tucker the turkey last time, he sold out in minutes, right? Uh, look at the price. Look at the price, right? Now, if you what, what date was it last time we did it? The first time, sorry. 21st of... 31st of August, 31st of August, Carl. Blimey, where's that time yeah, gone? Yeah, where? That's frightening. Now, if you, this is what he looks like, right? But if you want to put him away in a box, his tail does come off for storage or for a lovely fan for late, <laughs> late um, poppers. This one's got poppers on it, but you can also do um, one touch fastening. Do you want one touch fastening? I haven't got... Oh, yeah, there you go. You've got one, a red one over there with one touch fastening on it. I've got the... There you go. Got the, oh, the, these oh, are from I when you used to be a fan dancer <laughs> in Las Vegas. I remember now. <laughs> right, so last time Turkey the Tucker did a strip tease. Now we've got um, <laughs> Alice and Mary and Mary Nelson doing a fan dance. Right, I'll put that back in a minute oh, because forbid. what we have is we have the whole kit, right? So for 19 you do get... A panel. I'll be there with you in a minute. There you go. So you get everything already done for you on the panel there. All the pieces that you need are on the panel there. Now, what does it? What do we stuff him with? Just a wadding. Uh, um, toy stuffing. Toy stuffing. Yes. I've got any toy stuffing this? Oh. Oh <laughs> no, cat. Not sage and onion. Right. Anyway, <laughs> look. So there's the panel. There's his body. His hat, his scarf, his wings, his fan tail, everything you need, everything you need, even the backing of the fan tail is on there. So you get the panel, but then you also get all of this. Hang on. In this um, bag, you get rope, you get felt, you get the instructions, you get the templates. And in there, I'm presuming you get a bell and some eyes. Yeah. And some, there's two lots of eyes. There's the googly eyes or there's two, there's two buttons in there because he does look very different with the two oh, okay. different eyes. Either on googly eyes or buttons. He's obviously got googly the eyes googly on The googly eyes one. might be a bit scary. Yeah. So you get everything. <laughs> get all of that for 19 99 You do need to supply some toy stuffing, which we haven't got on the show today. Cat's busy eating chocolate or something in there. I was eating chewy food. I'll leave that out. Right? Leave it out. Now, what you also need is, for the fantail, some of this. What's this then, Alison Marion? That's a fusible extra heavyweight interlining. Yeah. And a fusible fleece. Perfect. So they're needed for the tail feathers, yeah? yeah? Which is what you're going to show um, us Yeah, now. I'm just doing... Um, putting them on now. So that's nine ninety nine. So you can now if you made him without this, 
his tail feathers would be floppy, would they? They would, but I mean, you can um, you could do a few layers of ordinary heavy interfacing. Yeah, yeah. You could do that. But this way, it's going to last for years and years. That's and years, right. Yeah. yeah, and that's why I've made the tail feathers detachable so that it is easy to store. To store away. Yeah. Exactly. All right then. So what are you going to show us then? Well, I'm just putting the inter. Uh, interfacing. That's the f the fluffy one of these. No, is it? that's the one like the interlining. Oh, like the cardboard one. Yeah. Yeah. That goes down first. What I've done is I've cut the panel. Have you got the panel there? I've yeah. Because everything's labelled on the panel. Right. So I've cut out the back of the tail feathers. Which is that big square that's there. That's that big square there. Yeah. yeah. And I'm putting the interlining on there. So right. I I'm use the iron and I'm doing that. And then you put the the adhesive side goes down onto the interlining back. Oh, okay. So mm. that um, I'm going to use the actual panel as an ironing cloth because I haven't got an ironing cloth here. Um, so the fusible side goes down onto the interfacing. So that's actually holding that in place. And then we're going to quilt on top of the fleece for the tail feathers. So right. I'll, I can put that down okay. there now. And... I thought it was going to be the other way around. I'd have had this. That's cringe. Cat's fault, producer's fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sheila Shaw, the, do you mean the um, the bunting with the Father Christmas is on? It's on Yarn Lane. It's not on the website for Sewing Street on the Yarn Lane website. So that, that okay. hasn't actually glued this. I've just used this as an ironing mat, really. Right, OK. Um, so that will, I mean, it's going to take a little bit longer yeah. and it will all hold together nicely. And then all you're going to do is you're going to stitch as if you'd pieced it and you're stitching in the ditch. Right. Because the pattern actually has templates to make him without, because it... The pattern wasn't written for the panel. Oh, okay. So the panel came from the pattern. Right. So there are templates for all the pieces, and this would be a Dresden plate. Okay, so if you make him out of the panel this Christmas... You've got it already you've got done. All your, but yeah, this is already yeah. done. But in the instructions, you can make him again out yeah. of your own fabric. I mean, this though. was a, a Moda jelly roll. Right. Oh, OK. Um, so obviously you start off, you put your uh, fabric in the right way up. Yeah. And then your next one you put over because so like you've actually got... You go. the, yeah. yeah. So you've actually got the um, the Dresden plate yeah. shape in your templates. So you put one right side to right side, sew this seam, take it over, press it, and then carry but on that's brilliant. both you ways. Rely on so the you panel start you there and go there. Make it for y every year. You oh, that's make right. a different yeah. coloured one or yeah. a different themed one or whatever. Yeah. Because you've so got the pattern and the templates in the pattern, you see, if you bought it. Yeah. Um, Fantastic. So, yeah, for the tail feathers. So that's all you do, really. You do okay. that, and then we've. you can see all I've done around the outside edge is to use pinking shears, and it's now starting to fray nicely on the fabric. So like give turkey it the, feathers. Like the feather edge, yeah, feathered edge. So uh, you can put a piece of, like you said, there's either poppers on that one. Yeah. I think the Velcro would be easier. Yeah. It is. Oh, one touch yeah. fasting, one touch yeah. fasting. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that goes on there. So that's your, that's your tail feathers done, really. Brilliant. And well, you've got with your body. Uh, hook and loop tape, we oh, put sorry. it. Is it yeah, black so or white? Don't... Black or white? I think there's both. It's okay, there they are, black and yeah. white. It doesn't tell you on the graphics which colour's which. Yeah. So, I mean, Tucker himself is just very simple. You have a weight so that he stands up on your shelf. Uh -huh. And you put your feet in the bottom, turn him through. Stuff him. Yeah. And then what date did we do it? Sorry, August. To what? August. Thirty-first of August. Go and look at the YouTube. Thirty-first of August. Because you made. I did. Yes. You made him yeah. complete that. Yeah. Half the day stock through. is gone of Turkey the Tucker. Tucker the Turkey. <laughs> you have to be so careful. So Please that's careful. it, basically. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. All right. So, uh, but but we just wanted to recap on on the on the tail feathers on that one. Right. This. Right now, before we start, I've got I've already got one as a gift. I'm going to see. So, Cat got chocolate in hers. Jesse, got what did you get in yours? A, a little stress thing, yeah. Okay, now I'm it just going to say to you, last time I had one of these, the last <laughs> Christmas, my Christmas cracker from Alice and Mary Mountain had mints for old people in it, <laughs> right? This year, I've got a pair of false teeth. <laughs> There's a theme going on. Yeah, here we go. Oh, oh there we go. Well, wind him up. <laughs> 
Lovely. Um, and no chocolate. Oh, he didn't last very long, did he? You don't eat chocolate. Well, I've made an exception for you. <laughs> He's going so fast he goes out of focus, look. Right, so what are these, you're saying? What it is, is you make 24 of these. You make 24 of these. And you hang them on a... I'll show you. Have we got a picture of the whole thing? Okay, I'll show you from a box here, right? So you make 20... Oh, there you go. So you make 24 of them. Uh, so now, should we do the complete bundle to start with? So this is the gold and white bundle. Or white and blue, we've called it. White and blue. So inside the box... So th this is what you get for your 29 99 Inside the box, you get all of the instructions... Oh, they're very thorough as well, look. All of the instructions. Oh, my word. <laughs> then you get your 12 blue zips, your 12 white zips. You get your white rib, uh, your blue ribbon. You get your white marker. That's a... Um, it's a china chalk. Ch that's a so china yeah. graph, yeah. And then, right, poor old Alison's mum. She's at... Uh, and now yeah, I'm going to open this. Yeah, yeah. Can I give a shout out to my mum and dad? Yeah, there's go been, for it, go for there's it. There's been a lot of counting in these kids. Oh, Yeah, we always think of them <laughs> sitting there. Thank you, mummy and daddy. <laughs> Do they live with you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Well, they've got their say. own little place, Yeah, yeah, but, but yeah. They, you make them come in the kitchen, sit down, count these. <laughs> I'm just, look. So you've got 24 baby swivel clips. So if you haven't got 24, yeah, Alison's mum's mum fault. I'll blame mum or dad. Right, and then in here, you won't get this one. This one, look. look you have to, what's your mum called? Beryl. Beryl. Beryl, well, you'll have to recount this one because I've made a mess of it, right? So in this one, you get 24 like little cardboard. Um, are they gorgeous? You've got little. Where do you, where do you find things like this? <laughs> anyway, look. That, so you can write the number of the day on there. There's 24 of those. Oh, look. And there's 24 ringlets and... Little bells. Well, there's 24 bells, but there's actually 48 of the little rings. Oh, are there? Because you need one for the bell and also one for your ribbon. Oh, okay. So, and then you also get these five fat quarters for 29.99. I mean, anyway, in there, right? So, what this means is you can make 24 of these, right? But the inside. You can make the inside and the outside out of these, right? So I've got, I've, they're fully lined. They're fully lined, right? So if you don't, I've got a solution. If you don't want to use the rest of those fat quarters on the inside, then save the rest of the fat quarter. I'm just saying, just saying. But anyway, that all of that to make 24 of them is 20. So each of those is just over a pound each. And you also have, you also got the little thing on it with the date on it as well. Right, so that's 24 of those for 29.99. Now, if you don't want the fat quarters, you just want to buy all of this in the blue and the white, then you can do. So if you've got your own fabric at home, right, 19.99, 19.99. Zips, instructions, 24 zips, the pencil, the ribbon, the cards, the bells, the 48 those, the 20, 24 of those. That's a lot, isn't it, for 19? You get an awful lot in there for 19.99. Okay, so that's the blue and the white version. I'm not going to do the same for this one, but I've got the whole bundle here for the red and green version. Right, so you get your instructions. You get, I'm not going to open the bags. You get the red and green zips. You get the green ribbon. You get the bells, the card, the ring pulls and the swivel clips. Right, everything you need in there, plus, I don't like, the, we're in single figures for this now. This kit on its own. Oh, okay, so the kit on this one is sold out on its own already. So the only way you can buy this, and the single figures, is this whole kit, 29.99. The box on its own is completely gone. Told you, I told you earlier, I did warn you in the first hour that these were selling fast. How far, how far behind are the blue and white ones? Kit-wise. Kit. Yeah, please be careful because they're following very quickly. I think it's because red and green people automatically go Christmas, Christmas red and green. Yeah. So the, it depends so if the, you're traditional or you're yes, a bit more exactly. white. Yes, yeah. exactly. So the only... 
Okay, that's sold out. That, if you've got that in your basket, there's more, there's three times as many people got it in their basket than we've got stuff. So I'm not going to show you that one anymore. Right, let me just go back to the blue and white one. I just need to recap because that one's going to sell out. If you want this one, which makes this, a, is that one from this kit? This is yeah. It? Right? Yeah, I'm done. The it. whole kit, including the fat quarters, $29.99. Let's open up the fat quarters. We've got these open on the shelf somewhere. They're John Loudon, yeah, they're lovely. You use these in, we use these, the green one of those, in another of your projects, didn't we, where you um, put two yes. together and I yeah. can't what the project yeah, no, was. I you can't do over, no. yeah. I'll think of it. Yeah, in the yeah. comments. Was it the Chris. Um, uh, chains. Yes. The chains, yeah. 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 Chris Here chains. you go. <coughs> so look, these are the five fat quarters you get. John Loudon fat quarters. You get the, the gold, white with gold stars, the silver stars. Ooh. Lame. Right, okay, so, th so the 29.99 is you want all of that, right? That's the main graphic. If you just want to get the, these and use your own fabric, that's in the little graphics there, 19.99. But please be careful because the red and green ones are gone. This is the only, only kit you can get now. Oh, no, you showed it in the green, haven't you? No, I'm, sh I'm demoing oh, the, perfect, that perfect, one. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, okay, let's do some... Oh, no, I tell you, no, 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 no. If you don't want to use your fat quarters as the inside, don't want to line them, because you think, I want to keep that for something else, I want to make another project with that, we have got white and cream in white. Just buy half a metre of this. That's what you have left over if you don't, if you substitute. Oh, okay, can we just have a look at uh, Alison's hand, Jesse? Is that possible? Just waft those at the camera. There you go. That's what you have left over if you don't use the line them with the with the fat quarters. Okay. Did you hear him say that? No. Oh, he said. Get Alice to put them just down the table. Oh, really? Didn't he? Just no, I didn't. He said, I like, well, she's obviously got an eating since then. <laughs> no. Right. So that's just by half. You only need half a meter, don't you, of the white? Uh, yes. Just need half a meter of this white here to line them if you want to line them in white, or if you want to line them in cream. The fat, oh, no, oh, and also the fat quarters on their own are on the website if you want those, yeah. On today's website, on the show. Oh, Pauline's off to buy a new printer. Right. Ju right, okay, so without the fat quarters, there are only four of these left. I know that looks messy. There's only four of those left. Two left now. Two of those left now. And then I've got nine of the whole kit with the fat quarters as well. That's it. That's it. We haven't even started the demo yet. There's one other thing I've got to show you. But last time we did this, I showed you this. It sold out by the time I got it. Oh, they've gone. <laughs> not even going to show you. They've no, never been on there. Show them. <laughs> okay, so let's let's do some. I don't know where you're going to be doing a lot of There's tightening lots up. Of, lots of bits, home. isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> right. So what? Where do we start? Well, you were saying about um, using the plane because I did actually cut out because you can get 24 of the bags out of the five fat quarters. Right. Um, and I said to Ian, it just seems such a shame to put this lovely fabric inside. Yes. So I've lined those with cream and these ones with white. Okay. So that's where that came about. Yeah. So you have enough if you wanted to buy the extra um, zips and all the hardware to do another one. Well, they can't now because of all yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, you don't actually have to hang it like that. You can hang them as a swag. Oh, yeah. There's absolutely oodles of ribbon here in right. case you want to do that. Right. And also, I haven't given you five-inch zips. Right. For the same reason, you might want to upscale. Oh, okay. Exactly the same instructions, do exactly the same. Um, but I've put in the eight-inch zip so that you can. Upscale if you wanted, if you so want if you wanted to. each of those pouches to be a little bit bigger, yeah. follow your instructions, but make the pattern yeah. pieces a bit bigger. Yeah, perfect. So, um, it, yeah, exactly the same. So that's not an issue there. So first of all, you cut out all your squares. Obviously, mm -hmm. um, the stripology is fantastic for that. Because of time, I'm not going to do that. Oh, all right. But then. Oh, um, that was a dig. It, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was brilliant because I could just do all of them, turn them round and have several rows and then just cut them again. So, you know, that's that's absolutely bit, brilliant bit of kit for that. Perfect. So once you've got all of your squares, 
I wouldn't recommend you doing a bag at a time. You have to kind of adopt a factory mentality yes, yeah, for this. Exactly. Um, because if you, it, there's a lot of faffing really if you've got to do one at a time. Whereas if you're, you chain piece yeah. and do. Set up as a production line. Well, basically. that's right. Yeah. I mean, what I did was you, for your quilting, you put a piece of wadding. Oh, you do need to buy wadding, by is the it way. Craft, is it just like it's just craft wadding. Craft wadding, yeah. yeah. Um, so you need, need a piece of wadding, same size of your square, and one of your squares, and then you can quilt it however you like. Uh -huh. I've done diagonals from point to point. You could cross-hatch it again. You can do it in strips. We did that um, with the alternative crackers. My friend Margaret, she did several different ones because oh, wow. she did a few for me. Um, so that took me a couple of hours to do this because you've got 48 pieces, yeah. remembering you need two for a bag. Yeah. So you just sit there so with you your quilt pieces. Both, both pieces. Yeah, you don't put your you don't put your other piece of fabric. You've just got your outside piece of fabric right. and your wadding. Okay. Oh, that's a long way away. Yeah, everything's sold <laughs> out now. I think the Valleys and Marions are sold out. We've still got Turkey the Tucker. Turkey what the is wrong with me? Tuck of the turkey. <laughs> There's still some tuck of the turkeys, but all of these kits have sold out now. We've got the fat quarters, which is what's in at the moment. The cream and white fat quarters are in the Griffiths at the moment. But everything of Alice and Marion's has sold out. Yeah, she's taking notes home. It's fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, take them, give them to my cats. I need to fold them up and put them away. Right, so I'm going from one straight on to the other. Yeah. Just feed one through. So if you quilt all of your outside pieces, one thing I will say while I'm remembering it, I might oh, yeah. not remember it at the end, do <coughs> clean out your machine once you've done oh, it. Oh, yes. Because you're using wadding without a fabric underneath. So you do need to clean mm -hmm. your machine really afterwards around your bobbin. Uh, Susan says, morning everyone, love Tucker. He reminds me of the characters in the film Chicken Run. Yes. He does indeed. <laughs> he does love the eyes. advent kit. <laughs> Tina says, I want John's shirt. Oh, Tina, it's from Amazon. It was £14. <laughs> right, OK. For, for the um, little hanging loops, um, you don't want to cut all those out together either. This is the length of the fabric that's left over. Uh -huh. So all I've done is I folded it in half and pressed it and then folded it in half again. I've got my zipper foot on and it's pushing out the fabric. Oops. Um, fold, like a bias binding, but obviously it's not on bias. Yeah. Because it's just cut on the straight of the fabric. And then you cut out both sides and do the long strips. And then to get your little short ones, you just cut, I'll do an ish, about three inches. It is three inches, so that's <laughs> that one. And you would have it, um, sewn down the other side as yes, well. Yes, of course, yeah. So, so they're just like little the loops at the top. Yeah. yeah. So that's going to um, all be done together so that you're not there putting one in and then turning and then yeah, putting it yeah. and doing it again. So that's another one there. And then we need our, did I? No, we need our two pieces of lining. So you're just using the plain white now, aren't you, that we had, not the, the, the yep. stuff in the Yeah, this is the inside. So we're going to need to put our um, lobster class onto our hanging loop. So uh -huh. that's another one that you can do quicker than if you do them individually because you can put one through. Yeah. What you need... This you need is in the seam you. allowance. You need four of you to sit round the table... One to do the loops, one to do this, one to do that, and then you have like a little factory and you have great fun yeah, having a glass of wine while you're doing it. Are you I've looking got... for another foot? You're right. Yeah, because I put the zipper foot on to get. Uh... That's all right. Let's use this one. It's not pulling it through. There you go. And I've also got um, a denim needle in here as well. Oh, have you? Because a denim needle, a jeans needle. You've jeans got, yeah. needle, yeah. Because um, we're going to be going through some really, really thick stuff in a, okay. in a minute. So uh, with these ones, you've got your hanging loop and you've got all your lobster class. Yeah. So to do those for, we do that the same. Feed one after the other and then just cut them in half. Okay. Uh, the machine, what machine are you using? You're on the 580. So someone's just asked what the machine is. So 580, 580 plus. Plus, and you also get Don't a free forget gift the plus. <laughs> till Sunday night. You get a free walking foot. Right, I'll have this out. Right, if you do a price comparison online, you'll find it for £899. Not with a free walking foot. Just so you know. 
Right, we'll have the zipper uh, foot back. Stuart, Stuart did a um, really, really good demo yesterday, day before. Yesterday. Please go and watch that on YouTube. Three split paints of £263. Uh, October, be paid for by Christmas. If you bought it today, be paid for by Christmas. Right, this bit you do have to do mm -hmm. individually because you've got the length of the zip at the top and the bottom, right. so you can't push one up under the other. Yeah. But what you're going to do is you're going to decide where your quilting is going to be. I'm going to have my quilting point down there to the bottom, so I need to make sure that they're both going in the same direction. I'm going to put the right side of the zip towards the outside fabric. This bottom piece here, be mindful that you don't want to sew over that because that's yeah. a little metal piece. And then the lining, we're going to line that up with the square, just there. And we're going to put, you can pin this if you want to, if you feel happier. Mm -hmm. And we're going to run the zipper foot along the teeth of the zip. Okay. <laughs> right then that one we're going to fold back we need to top stitch to keep this back because if we don't when we up open the zip we're going to catch the lining yeah. in the zip so we're going to pull that back and keeping the zipper foot on we're just going to sew along the outside edge to top stitch So we've got that one there, and we're going to do the same again with the other side, but this time we're going to put that one over there. So you're making sure that these are right sides together. Uh -huh. And then this one will go on the underside. Mm -hmm. So I'll take that along the teeth of the zip again. I haven't lined that up very well. Then we're going to pull that th through so that it can be top stitched as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pull the lining back and the top. So this is another one where you get to this point, stop, and then go on to another one. Yes. So that you'll end up with 24 that look like that. <laughs> Flat bit weird, yeah. yeah, bit weird. Um, right, now we need to get rid of this excess zip because we don't need that anymore. But do remember, we're going to sew across the teeth just to hold it together. But do remember <laughs> to take your zip down. Oh, yes. Do open the zip. And also, if you're um, getting your own zip, they do obviously have to be an acrylic zip. Yeah. So I'm just going over a couple of times just to hold that in place so that the zip pull, should I pull it, it won't come off. So I'm going to cut off the excess, not right down to the sewing, we'll cut that off a little bit later, but just get the worst out of the way. So there we are, we've got uh, our zip in. You don't want to take it right down here either because we're going to be sewing along here. You want uh -huh. to keep that in the middle. So now we're going to join right side to right side with the outside fabric mm -hmm. and we're going to sew down the outside edge. You can see I'm using the zipper foot here. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it's fine to carry on with that rather than keep changing your feet. Yeah. And then we're going to put the lining. If this Actually having a different lining helps because if you put the same lining in it can be a bit confusing, confusing as to which yeah. is the lining and which is the outside. So those two are going to go together. Right, on the top one, where we've just cut off the zip, I am reinforcing the top here. I either do a lock stitch or a little reverse, because when we turn it through, we don't want this seam coming undone. It doesn't matter at the bottom, because we're now going to sew over that seam, so that will be protected there. Right, so we've got that now. Yeah, so you've got the zip down the middle and two yep. loops, yeah? So loops. not the top, right. we're going to the bottom and we're going to take the seam 
and put that in the centre of the zip. Right. And just hold that in place and then the same with the outside fabric here. We're going to do the same. We've got the seam and we're going to put that in the centre of the zip. Uh -huh. So we're holding these two pieces out. So we've got like a little sandwich there. And the zip is in the centre and we're going to sew from one side to the other. Mm -hmm. Being careful when we reach the zip. Yes. So I'm getting to the zip now and I'll go slowly. And I will reverse that because that's going to be a point where the zip comes down and you're going to actually be tugging on that bit. Uh -huh. so. <coughs> there go. And a little reverse stitch on the end there. Right, now we can cut off the bottom zip out of the way. And snip the corners so that it gives a nice point when we turn it through. Now that's another opportunity. Oh, I'm used to having my little thread catcher. That's another one where you can um, carry on because if you get all of them and just put them together, you can feed them in one after the other. Yeah. So that's another one that you can carry on and um, just, you know, factory like. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now we need to close the top, but first of all, we're going to open up the zip completely. Not too critical if you forget that, if it's halfway, because you can feel through. Yeah. But we're going to take our loop with our lobster clasp, and that's going to go down inside the bag. And Does you're going it matter to which side it goes in? Yes, it's, it's got, got to, to go be in. on your outside fabric. Yeah. yeah. And I'm lining that up with the zip and folding the second side of the zip around over it and then straightening up this fabric there. I'm going to pin that. Oh, so the zip's folded in half on this, this edge? Yeah, yeah, it's folded into the lining. Yeah. So you see that? The actual zip itself is mm, inside yeah. the lining. Yeah. So I'm just going to pin that to hold that in place. You're right about going through quite a few layers at some yeah. point, aren't you? Yeah. Now, if you're happier, you can, um, I have tried this machine and it's fine. And my little machine at home um, is fine that I take to my groups. And I, um, you can um, feed it through by hand if yeah. you would prefer. And crank it. Yeah, it depends on your machine, really. But I'm going to just pin that there. And something that I'm going to use is a bulky Sea Maid. And unfortunately, you haven't got any of those in stock, I do believe. That's one of these. Or as big um, a hump jumper. Does that one not? Could you hear Cat then? What's that? She said exactly, you're, you're saying it exactly as they say it. That's, yeah, but that's because Vix had never seen one and she oh. calls it a hump jumper. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I call it a hump jumper, but it's a, a hemline bulky sea maid. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Unless you get, um, I think some I, of them I, come I with the machines. I don't think you get the 580, but I think you definitely get it with the 780. You probably yeah, do, yeah. yeah. Some sewing machines. So a lot of people have them in their kit and they've got no idea no, what they are. No. It's actually, um, it helps you over bulky seams, but if you're putting on buttons as well, mm -hmm. so that you get a good shank on your yeah, button. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start, if you're doing these larger, you want to leave about three inches, and obviously you won't be sewing here, you would be starting here. If, the, if you'd done a six inch one, yeah. you know, you'd be starting a little further along here. But we're starting um, just where our foot will actually go we want to leave as much as that as possible so I can get my foot to go flat there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a lock stitch, or if you haven't got a lock stitch, do a reverse stitch. And we'll start sewing. And then when it starts to go uneven, we're going to put this in. If you haven't got one of these, a piece of folded cardboard will do exactly mm -hmm. the same thing. What you're trying to do is to bring your foot to the same level can you just squidge down your so we that can't bit see there. where you are? Can you that's see? it, that's it, brilliant. I'll get my hands out of the way. Hang on, let's try that way. There. So that's just before the zip. No, yeah. you can't see. Can, oh, it's that, that hand. That thumb, that Which, thumb. yeah. If I do there, look. You're starting just before the zip. Right, and Jesse's just bringing another camera over to see if he can get right, a different okay. angle. Talk to chat amongst yourselves at home. <laughs> 
Ah, right. So what are you seeing right, there? You so if we it down. put that down. Yeah. There. There you go. There you better? go. Yeah. Oops. Keep it squeezed. It's that one there. Where's your plastic oh. thing? It's here. Yeah. Now that's going to go underneath the foot. Right. I've just lifted the foot, and that now means that the foot is level before the bulky bit in yeah. the seam. Is that? I'm going to get my fingers out of the way. Yeah, no, it's perfect. So that's level. Now I'm going to start sewing, and that's going to, I'll go off the edge of that, and when I get to this side, I'm going to take it and bring it round so that the, it then runs onto that. And then yeah. when I get to the point that the foot will drop, I'm going to take it away. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I, I can't, I don't know whether I can do this so that. You, you just sew, you and we'll see if we can see it. Okay. That's Jesse's job. <laughs> So my foot's down, yeah. and I'm going to go now, but that's yeah. not. Now I'll take out my pin, because I don't want to risk no. risk that. Right, now I have, this is why I've got the denim needle in. So I'm going to go one at a time. Yeah. Oh, he's popped out. There we go. Yeah. Right, and I'm now going to put, put that at the, the other front. I'll just take out the pin that I had the other side. Yeah, that's going to fold over because yeah, I need to pull that pants, round. Yeah. I'll leave that back in. There you go. What it does, it, it, it keeps the um, tension, doesn't it? Yeah. Because if your foot's going up like that, it loses all its tension. Well, that's like when you try and hem a pair of jeans and you don't have one of those, when you go over the seam, suddenly the stitches yeah. are all uneven I mean, this, over the seam. This foot is supposed to do it as well, isn't it? You can press that little thing in and yes. that's supposed to yeah. help as well. Yeah. But because I've got one of these, I use that all yeah. the time. So. And it saves changing the foot as well. Yeah. That's it, I'm just going to the outside edge now. I'll do a little reverse. Right. I'll cut off the excess there. And I'll cut off this corner there. I'm not going to cut that one because that's the one that I'm going to be turning round. Yeah. Now, if you've forgotten to do the zip, you can actually feel through for the zip pull yeah. and do that. And the easiest way to turn these through is to bring all of the three corners, because we're working with quite small pieces if you're doing mm -hmm. it this size. I mean, there's no reason why you can't do different sizes. The one that I did for Becky, she's had a couple of years, <coughs> is all different sizes because they were all little demo bags that I'd done when I was um, oh, doing so demos. So she just got the remnants. Yeah. Of it. Oh. <laughs> she got the leftovers. Uh, the simple gadget <laughs> the best. I've got one of these. They're so useful, says Kate in Merseyside. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those things that you think, you know, it wouldn't be so useful, but I use it all mm. the time. Mm. So I've got the points, and rather than pulling the points, I'm actually pushing the bag through yeah. rather than pulling it. Lowe says, morning, John and Alison. Morning, morning. Lowe. There we go. That's it. So all that's left to do with this little bit, the actual sewing, is to fold over a quarter of an inch on your fold. You can either slip stitch this by hand or just tuck that in. Mm-hmm. Just catch it with the machine. You don't need to take a lot in. It's just holding it together. There we go. We'll push out the corners. That's where long nails help. <laughs> and then tuck that through. Uh huh. And it's done. Well, that's that bit that's is. your bag actually yeah. done. Yeah. So then we need to have our little bells, which is the best way to. Jesse. See. Oh, oh, there's me moving yeah, it. Look, and you're you doing the camera. Just find it. There you go. So then you've okay, got your so bells. Then the other bits. Or if you've bought charms, it's up to you. Yeah. 
But the bells and the loops and everything and the, and the ring, oh, what do they call those little round ring things? Split rings. The what? Split rings. Split rings, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, well, I've, I've, I've just had to answer the phone. Critical moment. Does Sewing Street sell the jumper jumper? There's none in stock at the minute. The hump jumper. Oh, the yeah. humper jumper. No, it's not in stock at the moment, apparently. <laughs> humper jumper, says Anna. It's, we do normally, but there's not in stock at the moment. I so with the split ring. We're not doing ring, a jumper today. Yeah. <laughs> With the split ring, you need to put it onto your oh, you mind your, nails. your bell first. It's all right. This is gel nail varnish. It's brilliant stuff. I ought to. So many people comment about my nails. I ought to do a video on me doing my nails. Yes, you I? should. Because it's so easy. No waiting for anything to dry, and you can see how um, good it is. Yeah. So and do not have gonna... to put it under a machine. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, be UV. It's easier at home, I must say. Thinking of this. making these for wedding favours, oh, says Linda in away. Suffolk. Oh, that's nice. That would be brilliant. No, not the, with the rings in. Favours for, for all the guests sitting at the thing. So you put your split ring on your, your bell first. So Kat's already talking about her wedding. She's not been, he hasn't even asked her. <laughs> <laughs> I've just, like, okay, this morning we were talking about who's working on Christmas Day and Kat was like, I don't want to work on Christmas Day because it's our first Christmas together in our new house. She just said to Jesse, well, I'm going to my mum's Christmas dinner and he's going to his mum's for Christmas dinner. <laughs> and then she said uh, they've got to buy a little turkey because she can't have Boxing Day morning without a turkey sandwich. <laughs> but you uh, see, can't drink then on Christmas Day then. Yes, you do. <laughs> she, she doesn't drink much anyway, she does. <laughs> right, so what do you do next? Right, then? so you've got your bag done now and I've put the little bell on. Hang on, where does the, where does the number go on? Oh, that comes... I, Afterwards? Yeah, yeah, you'll have to... I've oh, got no, the you can't pencil. These are all sold. <laughs> um, you've got your white pencil. Yeah. It's not a chalk pencil, it's a China graph pencil. I so remember those can... when I was a child for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, you've got your own, yeah. So you can use them for sewing. You can use them on the back of the fabric. Oh, OK. I didn't know um, that. And it washes out. So it, it's not chalky. I thought if you were to use Taylor's chalk or oh, anything no, like that, that it would just off, brush yeah. off. By the 24th, you wouldn't better Or if you've that. got a chalk pen, you can get the chalk paint pens, can't you? Yeah. They're nice. Um, but this, if you're, um, so we're on, What's this bit, on number bit of 24. What's string hanging out of mine? Do you not sharpen them? No, these? that you don't need to sharpen them. What you do is when you get to the end is you pull that piece down a little bit. Yeah. And you just move to your right a tiny little bit. That's it, so we can see what you're doing. That's it. And then it, oh, it comes off. Oh, look. And you just unravels from. And you've got the. How brilliant. Yeah. I've never seen that before. So that, and then you take a little bit of thread from your machine, and but to put your split rings. Got I'm finished of time, early. Look, I could yeah, have done Tucker's full tail. Well, you could do that dance routine. <laughs> <you've> said, <laughs> you know, you've been promising. <laughs> oh gosh, and you haven't got a lot to sell on. <laughs> uh, uh. To put your split ring on here. You could do your fan dance. <laughs> Nip out there. People don't want to see me <laughs> doing a fan dance. <laughs> Michael, no comment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you put a piece of sellotape, uh, sorry, sticky tape yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the end of your ribbon, it makes it easier to push through. Yeah. Obviously, you do this without all these on. <laughs> and then you divide up. It depends. That's why oh, I've so given you... Oh, you attach all of the, the swivel rings. clips before you attach the swivel clips. The oh. split rings. You put the split rings on. Before Hang on, I'm you confused now. So you're putting split rings on the ribbon. Oh, I've got to it To hang now. the I've got it. lobster yeah, clasps yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. a double there. And that's why I've given you so much ribbon. Because if you if you want to do bigger bags... Yeah, you've got um, or, or spread them out more. Yeah. You know, you want... Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you want to hang them that way and you've got, you know... <gasps> I'd be tempted to make 24 and hide them round the house. So I'd oh, cut yes. the ribbon <laughs> up into 24 <laughs> pieces it. and tie Can't them. find it. Yeah, you have yeah. to find the right number. So you've got a double knot on there. Uh, Pamela says, good morning, John. May I ask what those Santa-looking things are behind you? No, you've been behind you. That, that's in Yarn Lane. It's in Yarn Lane, coming up in Yarn Lane. Is that and done are they with knitted an, or crocheted? They're is, knitted. Is it done with a knit in Nancy? Oh, I don't know. Like I, I had when I was a little yet. girl. It looks like, you know, the yeah, yeah, thing yeah, with Bobbin. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. You have to watch 12 o'clock <laughs> to find out. <laughs> Diane says, morning, John and Alison. My dukey has just arrived. Oh, lovely. Oh, Diane, did you buy one of the straight stitch ones? 
Is that the one you got? The straight stitch one? Right. I'm putting this on the other side as well. Uh -huh. So it's both sides. And then I'll take a piece of thread. Can she show how to do the wings, please? Oh, she, first of all, is Alison Marion, Sylvia. <coughs> the oh, wings what? on here, the wings, are, well, if we've got time, we'll yeah, do that I in a minute. Yeah, I think I've got them yeah, with we'll me, in actually. In the, I was going to say. So we're going to just put a bit of thread through and do a double knot on that. You want to knot this. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, Dan got the straight stitch one. It's arrived already from Juki. Oh. I've got my hemmer, but I ha Mike took it out of the box, but that's as far as we've got. The, uh, the blind hemmer one? Yeah. So excited. I need new curtains now. Everywhere. Yes, I don't exactly. Know. Or Mike's trousers. Two Mike's trousers on them. New curtains. New curtains. <laughs> Cat so you want, to put your, you want to put your um, thing through the thing. The, thre the thread through the ring. Yeah, and not it off. Yeah. Kat says, can you make her a hair scrunchie before you go? She's got <laughs> yes. to go to work in the theatre tonight. The one she's wearing has just broken. Oh, no. And she's got greasy hair. Oh, no. Oh, your hair doesn't look greasy. I don't. There we go. And you hang that on there so you've got your... Dates and I don't hang them in um, number order. Right, no, no, no. So of uh, yeah. Is that it? That's it. And you, so you can see. I mean, just putting them through. It took me a couple of hours to do the quilting. Yeah. And then I went and made the tea. And then um, you've got uh, the putting on the zips. Do all that together. The folding together for the bottom. They can be chain pieced all mm -hmm. the way through, one after the other. Um, your lobster class, putting them on your loop to hold your loop together, that can all be chain pieced. Mm -hmm. And then um, the, I suppose the bit you've got to be most careful of is putting your, um, breaking a needle if you're going through the yeah. thick bit. Mm -hmm. But if in doubt, do it yourself and just use the wheel on your yeah. machine. I mean, all of the machines here have been fine because I've tried yeah, them. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And Brilliant. you can upscale them, you can do different sizes. And when you think when you're sewing them, think of poor old Beryl. Yes. Count all the split rings, all the bells, <laughs> all the labels, all the zips, everything. Oh, she's as good to me, my mum. Yeah. <laughs> Hope she charges you a fortune. Oh yeah. We have, we have fish and chips. <laughs> all that for a bag of fish and chips. Beryl, <laughs> I need to be your agent. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, now Syl just asked about, have we done on that? I don't need to do yes, anything else there. Yes, yeah. Um, Syl's just asked about the wings on tur tur Tucker. The, the turkey. There's still some available, still some available. Now, we hadn't planned to do this, but we'll just, we'll just take you through I've got it them now. Here. The, the, on the panel, they're already there. The wings are already there in that shape. Look. Oops. Oh, stop. There they are. The wings are already on there. But if you if you aren't having the panel and you've just got the um, pattern, there's it might pay actually to show um, them. I think I might have found a um, an error. Why? Because these wings are double sided. Yes. And I've only got one set of wings on the panel. Yeah, but you've got a little panel at the bottom. Look. You've got two of the, down the bottom. I've got a panel. Yeah, here. that says tail feathers. Yeah, no. Oh, uh, wing back, wing back. Yeah. I, knew it could, I knew she wouldn't have made a mistake. <laughs> wing back, wing back, there, 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 there for the back of your wings, there for your front of your wings. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't see. I was have looking you, for another got wing. The temp oh, no, I don't know whether I put the templates oh, in. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so you take the top, and this is your bit for the... Back. Back. So if you're doing it at home, what you do is you have your top fabric. If you've got the pattern, the templates oh, are in it. there yeah. anyway. Yeah. I'll just sit here holding this just But you really. don't put in the um, interlining. You only use the fusible fleece. Right. Because you want them to fold. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you don't make it solid like the back this. No. It's you not solid like that iron on because they, they need to be able to fold round. Okay. So, yeah, you're doing exactly the same as you did with the tail feathers, really. You're just um, encasing your fleece and then sewing round the outside and cutting round with the pinking, pinking shears. shears. Yeah. 
Is it difficult and they to get around those little inside side. bits no. with pink and shoes? No. Yeah, but no, you've got you fancy go... dancy, all singing, all dancing <laughs> pink and shoes. They're know. only the same blades. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, because you don't actually have to go round. So literally, you cut the, cut the hand out on the panel and you've got the square at the back. And on the square at the back, you iron on some yeah. interfacing. You, well, yeah, you don't have to actually cut it on the line. Right. You can just cut it roughly right. around there, then oh, okay. put that piece on your backing. Yeah. And so you, you sandwich them together with the right sides out. There's no bagging yeah. through or anything like no. that. It's literally no, that's just, it. Yeah. Yeah. So you would fuse your um, fleece to this piece on yeah. the back of this piece. Yeah. And then cut that out roughly. Yeah. And then that goes on there. Yeah. And you sew all the way around the outside and then, then you just trim cut, it down. Trim Brilliant. down with pinking shears. And also the, uh, I've got a quick question now, the, the little feet. How do, I mean, we covered this if you watch it on the, the YouTube, but the, the little feet, you've got two felts. And you yeah, put that's the just running stitch. You put the, yeah, you put the um, rope in between your two pieces of felt. Right. And then just run and stitch around and then just catch stitch over at the top. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's hand stitch, there's no machining on no that machining one. No machining on that one, no. I mean, you could machine it if you wanted yeah. to, but I don't think. But also something else, look, is the sign. Oh, yes. Because that is the interfacing or interlining and no fleece. <laughs> right. Because you put that on the back, so you fuse that to the back piece. Yeah. And then take a, a scrap piece of fabric from on the outside of the panel or just a scrap from at home and whatever you're going to use I've used a kebab skewer <laughs> right but if you've got a little dowel or something like that you need to make sure you're going to make a channel for that to go into so you've got to make sure that that's big enough to take whatever it is you're using okay and Rosina you just says, so oh sorry sorry I'm sorry. Not, sorry I completely interrupted you then no I no no apologize. Right. Uh, Rosina says can you use bosal for the feathers you can't you could but it's quite thick yes yeah. and on the outside edge i don't know whether you would have the same effect because it would kind of push out because of the thickness h h640 would probably be better right okay because that's not as thick is it yeah no no not at all yeah you could use h640 i would think yeah only one side of h640 is fusible but oh that's fine so you yeah. fuse it to the yeah, back no, one because you quilt it on the, yeah, on the top yeah, exactly. you don't need to fuse it on the top uh rachel says she's just bought tucker lots of love from rachel oh, oh that's rachel rachel and she says my beautiful soap is on display where's your soap this is rachel rachel you know rachel uh magnolia dress fabrics uh, dress it Magnolia oh dresses. no no she, she not on display in the studio i know what she means thank you okay. i sent her a bar of soap okay <laughs> why is she smelly <laughs> <laughs> oh it would only be john that would say that no cat cat asked That's me it. to ask that soap for christmas for him oh <laughs> yeah soap because i am smelly right okay uh when are you in next oh no have you finished talking, so talking no about it's all right i've just yeah. glued that there what did, so you, around the what outside did you write you used to write on what do you used to write on it it's printed Oh, so it is. And one of a, a white pen, like those uh, chalk pens, would be all right if you're doing it at home with two pieces of cardboard. Yeah. Because you could sew through two pieces of yeah. cardboard. Yeah, and you could write whatever you wanted. You could. Like, help. <laughs> if it was a vegetarian <laughs> family, yes. but help, couldn't yes. they? See you after lunch, or? Yes. <laughs> uh, right, talk about when are you in next then? Um, I'm taking a little bit of a break over November. I'm in on the 5th, no, 6th of. December. Oh, crikey, that feels feels like forever away. Yeah. But actually, it's not, is it really? No, it's, like it's not. I've got something. I've got three or four quite large projects that I really need to get my head around. And yeah, uh, you know, coming in fortnightly, I don't have the time. No, of course <laughs> not. And Mike's bored of driving. Yeah. Isn't he? <laughs> also, it might be thick because they say we're going to have a very bad winter this year. Oh, it might be thick snow and where oh, you no. live. Yeah. I've got a Orleans. picture in my brain of your. She shed with all snow on the path. Going up to it. I don't oh, I'll know send why. you a photo. I've had those. Yeah, yeah I've had those days. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Thank you ever so much. It That's was right. really lovely to see you. <laughs> right. All of these are sold out. All of the, the, the advent calendar things have sold out. The turkey, as few of these are still available. Right, for your nineteen ninety nine, you get the panel and the trimmings. I'll show you here. So that's the panel you just saw me wafting around. You get the instructions, you get the template, you get the rope, you get the felt. Uh, in there are the googly eyes and buttons. And there was something else in there as well, wasn't there? The bell. The bell, the bell. So all of that there for $19.99. Ignore all this mess here. Right, but you also need to get 
this and this as well, which is the kit to get the uh, to go inside the um, tail feathers. Got fusible fleece, and you've got your extra strong interfacing there. Nine ninety nine. Oh yeah, somebody's asking about the art. Uh, Marion says, "Lovely show. Where did Alison get her lovely dress from?" Oh, thank you. I make it. What's the pattern? Can you remember the pattern? Uh, I do believe it's a so simple ruby. Oh, there you go. So same simple. dress as my wedding dress, actually. It's what? Same dress, same pattern as my wedding dress. It's the pattern I use for my wedding dress. Oh, now you see. <laughs> when they make memory quilts in 100 years' time, <laughs> they'll be your mum in that beautiful yeah. long silk gown. <laughs> she made it. Here's Alison in a Christmas frock. She made it for a wedding. No, it was in different fabric. <laughs> <laughs> right, very quickly, I need to talk about the iron. Um, just very, very, very quickly, because several of you have come in and got these today. It's not, not plugged in, it's not plugged in, so I can't show you how fantastic the steam is, but I'll just lift this all up for you. Right. It's like an industrial iron for you to have in your home. If you want it dry, if you're a quilter, 50 pounds off, look. Oh, where's it gone? Yeah, 50 pounds off, 50 pounds off. 299 pounds, split pay. Um, if you want to use it as a dry iron, you can do completely. Um, this is no heavier. Now, we, we, how much did, was it? We, we looked at how... 1.5 kilos, that is. Very little difference between that and thing. The whole unit is, is obviously heavier, but I'll talk to you about that in a second. It's got a cork handle here. Use it like normal. You've got your, your temperature guide on there. You don't have to use it as a steam iron if you don't want to. Lovely silicon mat to keep it safe there. What you do do, though, if you do use the steam iron, this, now it takes forever to get this off because, uh, because it's a safety. You have to press it down and... There's still a bit of pressure in there, as you can see. But don't do that when it's got hot water in it. Oh, right. You fill it up, right? You see, now even, even if I'm halfway through, I'm doing it, it doesn't go off. So don't worry if you've got children around. It's all finished now. Anyway, so you've got a pressure gauge in here of how strong your steam is and everything, all made in Italy. Um, it's got a metre cable on it. Now, you're most probably thinking, my, uh, the steam, oh, now, the steam is so powerful that if you put one of my shirts on a coat hanger, not pressed, and you press this and you steam it upright, because it steams upright like that, the steam is strong enough to actually steam the creases out of your shirt. You're thinking, my ironing board won't take this. I haven't got room on the ironing board for this. You don't need it, because it comes with this. So this can sit underneath your ironing board by the side of your workstation. Anyway, you want it, you've got a bottle to f that fits in there perfectly to fill it up with water. If you just want to top it up a little bit, you get that as well. Uh, all of this comes as part of it. This is on wheels, so if you need to move it around, you're not lifting this up the whole time and humping it around. It can just live on here and you can wheel it around like either to where your clothes are or to next to your workstation or anything like that. I can't believe the price of this. I bought my first one of these from Franklin's when I worked at Colchester Mercury Theatre in the mid-80s, and I'm sure I paid this much money or more for mine then. So it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant um, professional steam iron. It's not made by, it's not made by a Juki. It's, I don't know why it says Juki in, in the graphics there. Morning, John, what a lovely demo, but can I ask if you'll be getting more bird, September bird of the month as I missed out when October. Our thanks for Marie in Hyde. Yes, we will. Definitely. Oh, it's on Monday. Check on Monday with Rebecca Reed on Monday. I've got to go for a break. Oh, yeah, it looks 11 o'clock. Uh, thank you, Alison, Mary, and Mary and Alison. And we'll see you in December. Do check out on the iron. Do check out on Turkey. Tucker the Turkey. That's a really bad name for it. And uh, Emma Bradford will be here after the break, and we're going to either be making a cushion or we're going or we're going to make a placemat and uh, dining set using a panel. We'll see you in four from now. Hi, I'm Claire from Native Lighting. I set up Native Lighting 18 months ago when I realised there was a real lack of craft lights in the market that were high quality, affordable and modern. Not only do native lighting lamps give you the perfect lighting for your craft, but they also look amazing in your home as well. 
I started to train as a florist when I was much younger and it re made me realise how you need the light on all the different colours when you're trying to match the colours with the flowers. And that's what's really important with your crafting as well. I've been in the lighting industry for 10 years and worked in many different sectors, but my heart always lies with crafting. I think that also comes from my time of training as a florist when I just used to love working with all the flowers and the colours and how different they could look in different colours of light. My top advice would be when you're thinking about buying a light, you need to think about where you're actually going to be doing your work. We've got lots of different types of lamps. We've got floor lamps, we've got magnifiers, we've got portable lamps, and we've got desk lamps. If you're sitting in a sofa or a chair, I'd suggest that you use one of our floor lamps. If you're working with intricate details, then have a look at one of our magnifiers. We've got three different types here. We've got our seven inch one, we've got our four and a half inch one, and then we've got a desk version here as well. All of those magnifiers have all three different color settings, including the really important daylight for your color matching, and they've all got brightness settings on them as well. If you work with a sewing machine, our Lumina lamps are absolutely amazing because you can bend and wrap them around the sewing machine, which is brilliant for when you're working on a sewing machine and you can get that light exactly where you need it. If you do Facebook Lives or you like to um, do video tutorials for people or you're doing teaching online, then our ring light is amazing for that because you can obviously use that, put your mobile phone in there and also that we've got a remote control which will operate that for you. You may have a cutting table or a wide area that you need to light up. Then I'd suggest you go with our, our task lamp here which gives you a really wide spread of light. If you're on the move, when you're working, then we've got a selection here of portable lamps. We've got our reverse lamp, our zigzag lamp, and our LED desk lamp. These are rechargeable, so it means that you can charge them up and then you can take them with you and you've still got light when you're on the move. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters so you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Right, Emma's back, Emma's back, Emma's back. We look at these lovely panels. Right, these are from our uh, Flower of the Month panel specials, right? You might have seen them before, you might not have seen them before, but if you haven't, oh, I'll do that first then. Here we go. So the first one, the most popular, is the wreath. Well, that's, I think that's because, here's the cushion, right? You've been seeing that sitting behind my head all day long. So what you get, just the panel on its own, you can decide what to do with it. I've got instructions coming up in a minute if you want to use those. Panel on its own, you get the square, the 12 by 12 square, and then... You get 43 inch, two and a half inch strips, almost all oh, the design, design roll, jelly roll sizes, aren't they? All complementing colours from the panel. Well, yeah, so the border on the wreath is the same as that border there. Where's the leaves in the wreath? There. 
there. The dots aren't. That dotty one's not there. Claw match. Anyway, look perfectly. Look, there you go. Oh, crunch. There, the background is the same as that design roll at the top there. You've got a linear, uh, not linear, a linen texture print there. Lovely, isn't it? So for $9.99, let me show you the whole thing. Oh, oh, I know what I was supposed to say. Hey, look, go mad. You saw the native lighting advert in the break, right? Tomorrow is the first day that we're doing three-way split pay on anything on native lighting tomorrow. Native lighting. Right, look, there you go. There's your panel. Thank you, Jesse. Have you seen it now? Thank you. Right, the other panel. Hang on, I just need to fold it up properly like that. Right. Mistletoe. There you go. No, what's a check? There's your mistletoe one. It's like, that's, you see, I like the mistletoe one better, personally. That's my personal favourite. Not loud favourites, obviously. Do what? There you go. $9.99 for the panel. Okay. So Kat has decided that for the first Christmas in their house, her and her boyfriend Liam, uh, they're going to have mistletoe over every single door frame of the house because they're young and romantic and in love and everything like that. <laughs> Do you realise when the berries fall off and they tread into your carpet and they stain and the cat eats them and you'll rush to the emergency vet on Christmas Eve night time because you're £400? There we go, you see. It's worth it. <laughs> Just for a kiss from your boyfriend. That's nice. Right, so they're the panels on their own. I've also got bundles, right? So let's do the wreath bundles first. Wreath cushion, right. Please don't be confused by the picture that's on the front there because it was from the bird of the month, with, but it is the pattern, oh, to do the cushion that Emma's made. So to get the instructions and the panel, 18 99 Oh, it's upside down. You're actually saving a pound there. 18 pounds and 99 pence. That's if you want to make the cushion that Emma's made, which is that one there. Yeah, it's his second day. He's eager to impress. So Jesse, is it only your second day here, Jess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elliot had to have him in for training. And Jesse's a more experienced director than Elliot, but that's by the by. Well, and also, we all know, the reason we're so very friendly is we always work together at Rocks & Co. You see, we all know each other from Rocks & Oh, no, no, sorry, so, so in quarter, so in quarter, sorry, I thought, yeah, Jesse knows all about the same. Right, and then I've also got the bundle for the table mat and the place mats. This one's only 14 99 No, Kat, that doesn't work. Right, okay, I'm going to do these on their own in a minute, right? These are $7.99 on their own. $7.99 and $9.99 does not make $14.99, even with a pound off. No. So you can make, we're going to show you how to make this table mat and this little, um, is it a cutlery roll or is it a napkin ring? Napkin ring, but you could use as you could use as a cutlery roll as well. Yeah, but you'd have to if you have six people round, you have to buy six of these cat. Yeah, only one set of instructions. But anyway, fourteen ninety nine that one. Now the mistletoe as a cushion, which is what we're going to be doing in the. No, it's not. Which is what we could be doing, but she decided not to. <laughs> 18.99. So you get the instructions in the panel or your placemats and um, table mat. Hang on. Table mat play. Ta hang on. Use the sewing flower of the panel. You can make a table centre, two placemats 
and two napkin rings. Oh yeah, so that's that, that's that there. And then you strips for this bit here and strips for that bit there. Where's the ribbon come from then? Anyway, 14 99 And now instructions on their own. Now, obviously the instructions on their own, where it says cut out the square thing, you just have to put a piece of your own fabric in there, but it'll be the 10 and a half by 10 and a half inch. Okay, what's the name of the person? Susan in Kent. Susan in Kent, you've just messaged um, through to Kat, right, about your order for Tucker the Turkey. We're not able to look in, we because we, we're this side of it, we don't have any of your details or anything like that. You really need to ring the call center or email the call center. Completely free, they're around the corner, they're sitting there waiting for your call, but, but you need to ring them. We can't, we can't look into your account, if you see what I mean. At uh, 9.99, these instructions for the cushion. These are by Rebecca Reed from Amber Makes. Is that Rebecca Reed's house? No. It's far too tidy. And then, if you want these instructions on their own, daffodil, table mat and placemats, 7.99. What's that? Seven ninety nine. Right. Is that everything? That's everything apart from the sewing. So what are you going to show us today? Are you we gonna are we gonna touch on the cushion at all? Yeah, actually no, we can do, we can do the cushion. No, can no, no, do, you don't no, have to do the cushion. Fine. No, no, no. I'm just I'm just asking. I'm just asking. No, no, that's fine. Well, if I start with Yes. So the Table mat. Yeah. <laughs> Get my words out, Emma. The table mat instructions are in centimetres. Right. So you do need to be aware of that, that you need to be cutting out. But you can sort of make the calculations to centimetres. If you're used to it. If inches. you've got all creative good rulers that have yeah, only got yeah, yeah. inches on them, you Just mean. do the calculations yeah. too. And they're roughly, and it will still work anyway. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah, don't start cutting out thinking it's inches though, because you'll be no. like, well, well, just, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, for both of them, the panels are a little bit different size to what the instructions say. Oh, are they? Yeah, but that's okay. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, for I'll start with the cushion, the cushion, the instructions for the panel, the panel for the bird is without a border. Right. Oh, and ours has got a border on it. Yeah. Right. So it's fine. You just need to trim this down and then add it. So it's actually a little bit bigger than what it says in the, the panel itself. Right. Is a little bit bigger than what it says. Oh yeah, because it said 10 and a half inches, this is 12 inches. Yeah. 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 So what I did for the cushion, because you'll see the inside of the cushion panel yeah. has a very small Let's have a quick look at the cushion, Green border. Jesse. You can see it against the pale green. See the bottom? Oh yes, 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 yes. It's got like a, a, like a almost like a flange or something like that yeah. around the outside, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That cushion's got two different colours down one side, doesn't it? Yes. You've got green, green, and then a paler green, and then down the left-hand side you've got half dark green and half white. Yes. We're just trying to put you off now. <laughs> yeah, I did that because I could. I didn't. I had to make up that side. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure what I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably, it is, I'm sure it's me, not the panel or the instructions. Yes. Yeah. So, but I had enough fabric to make it up, so that was Perfect. fine. Right. What I'm doing now is I'm just folding my panel into quarters so I can find the centre. Mm -hmm. So I can trim it down and get the centre. So if I put a pin where that centre mark is. Right. It's a long pin. Yeah, that was just what was in the, mm -hmm. in the doodah. In the doodah. So the first one, now I have to refresh again. Right, I just need to straighten your cutting board up. Oh, the sorry, the yes. Please, that's all right. Yes, because that, that will be... Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you oh. go. Oh. 
Oh, oh, <laughs> that's weird, isn't it? Well, it's, no, if we straighten up for the camera, it's completely wonky on, on Emma's desk. That's fine. Have it for you. Do it Do it the yeah, best for you. I can work, I can work with sure? that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you fine. end up making a wonky placemat now? No. I'm going to do the cushion front. Oh, uh, I'm going to do the cushion front. Okay, she's changed her mind. Yeah, well, I was going to do this part any of the cushion anyway, because I want to show how to do the half square triangle. Okay, do that then, then we can talk through the placemats. Okay, yeah. yeah, because it's a little bit different technique from that I've seen how it's done before. Other yeah, ways. Yeah. So. But also, I just interrupt, if you just buy the panel on its own, mm -hmm. you can make this into anything yeah, like tote bags or what were you saying, cat? A gift bag. Oh, that's too good for a gift bag. Mm -hmm. Little rucksack, something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wall hanging. Wall hanging. I, think Christmas wall I, hanging. I love them. I love them both. I have to admit, my favourite might also be the mistletoe. Miss, I love the mistletoe. Yeah, one. I like yeah. the grey. Yeah. yeah. But yes, they're, yeah, they're so versatile because you get, like you said on the panel, there's what? One, two, three, five strips essentially strips widths of fabric yes. that you get to do whatever you to want go with it yeah exactly yep. hey sorry okay, i'm right. just reading i want to make sure I, my oh it's on this side uh ten and a half by ten and a half okay right. so that means i need to center five and a quarter oh that's why you fold it in half fold it in half so you're going to measure it to get it exactly in the center yep. yeah yeah so I've got my five and a quarter right in the center. Uh huh. And now I can cut these two sides. And then it's just a case of, you don't have to measure this side, now you just have to go to 10 and a half. Mm -hmm. It should all be even. I keep getting confused. No, no, we, did, we all did that because it's supposed to be that way. Hanging, hanging down, down, yeah, it's yeah. supposed to be hanging down. Okay. Oh, do you know what you could do, Kat? You could make wall, like make them into like um, pennants and have them hanging from the top of the door frame. Then you don't yes. have to have real mistletoe. You can kiss under the... Under the fake mistletoe. Well, you're neither of you that tall, are you? No, oh, it's fine. <laughs> have you got a have space it, above the door? Yeah, yeah, have it above the door have frame. It above the door, not hanging down. Yeah, above yeah. the door frame. got very high ceilings in her new mansion <laughs> on the main road outside the bus stop <laughs> with the roof terrace so I'm just going to cut my border right yeah this is, a, this is the first inner border right so it goes directly around your panel I'm going to get the cushion down off the shelf while you're cutting that. Okay. I think what you did was I think you cut all of your half square triangles out first. Yes, I did. Before you cut your inner border out. I, think that's I what did. You might have done. I did. I did do that. Let's do these two. Oops. Let me do this first before. Does I... it say how big to cut these, or does it say cut them to the same size as your? It drop? says ex exactly how to cut them. Okay. So you've got you've got it says two and a half by however length they yeah. need to be, basically. So it is all all in there. Right here. Yeah. I'm just going to put my two top and bottom borders on. Watch that, not that glass of water over. Oh, yes, I forgot about that. Oh. Oh, you're right. Yes, oh, we didn't go back to, we didn't go back to. What, what, what? Um, so. Your foot looks like it's floating up. Go on. It is, it will go down. There you go. Oh, there you go. Um, what, you what are you trying to do, it's a quarter inch? A quarter inch. There we go. And when you turn it off and you turn it back on again, it will say, do you want to resume your your oh. previous program? And I either didn't get to it quick enough and it just reset yeah. itself. So this is a 780, this yeah. same machine, the one that Rebecca Alexander Frost, I don't know why I said it like that, 
Becky showed the other day. There's only three left, three or four of these left now. Three nice. left. Nice. It is a nice machine. Yeah. You do get a free Becky Alley's Under Frost panel with it. I presume that'll go on Sunday as well, the same as the... Um, yeah, it was only supposed to be the day that Becky was on. There we go. I'll take that out the middle now. Wreath panel is in the lead. Oh. That's this one, the one that the cushion's made out of. Right. I think once once you see the mistletoe done up. Yeah, I think so too. Um, okay. Oh. Oh. So that machine's obviously got a button because your foot was already down. That machine's already got a button where you can lift your foot and it lower does. your foot. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. No. Um, Alison was helping me. He's like, oh, there's, there's a button somewhere to push oh. it down. Like, oh, okay. It's, it's way fancier than any of my machines. Oh, okay. Home. And how many machines have you got? Oh. Do you still do your Friday um, Facebook Lives? Yeah, yeah. I'll be doing it tonight. Oh, that's why I haven't seen it this week, because it's Friday. Because <laughs> normally I'm in bed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, because normally you're on a, on a Saturday. Because normally you're on, oh. on that. I'm in bed. Yes. I message you going, why are you doing a Facebook Live? I'm already in bed, because we're both on the show tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yeah. In, yeah. I think I'm on a Sunday next time. Oh, are you? Yeah. When's that then? 21st. I had to look it up. 21st of November. That'll be me now. Oh, it might not be there. No, it could be me. I'm sure it could be me. I'll get Kat to check in a minute. I'll be doing Thanksgiving the, the Sunday after that. A Thanksgiving? Well, you'll be cooking turkey. Yeah. On your Facebook Live? <laughs> no, I'll be on Facebook Live. But a yeah, live I'll be cooking turkey. Because you, you lived in America for years and years, didn't you? Yeah, and I only recently started doing Thanksgiving for, for Kaylee and Michael, really. We just do so it for the turkey. Even though, so it was Kaylee born in America? Yes. Oh, so she's classed as an American? Yeah, and although Mike's she's got both, both yeah. American, yeah. Yeah, they've both got, well, we've all got both now. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah. But so. they're, they're proper American and you're <laughs> married into America. I'm married into it. But then yeah. you lived, if you lived there for years, you must have be, have lots of American traditions, you know, kind of ingrained in. Thanksgiving's really the only one. Oh, well, Halloween. I do love Halloween. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. you see, I shut all the lights off and shut the doors oh. and everything. <laughs> Yeah, I do love I do love a bit of Halloween. Yeah, so I've got my pumpkins yesterday actually. So are you? I don't know where where you live. Do you have neighbours that come knocking yeah, for trick or treating? Yeah, we do. They do a lot in the village. So we've got quite a few kids in the village. Yeah. And because our house is always decorated up, like literally beginning of October, I've, I've actually got my um, pumpkin lights and my my ghost lights in the window. Up already? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I know. So they. I know. used to do it. But then, of course, when I moved in, I moved there 10 years ago, so all the kids were all like these little sweet, oh. in, in their cute little costumes. Yeah. Now they're all teenagers wanting money, you know? So oh. it's like, no. Yeah, so no. I can't be yeah, no, no, no. Um, I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to measure this. That's fine. No, we still ha we have quite a good mix of kids. We've got the older kids as well. Um, but I don't mind giving them sweets as well, to be yeah. honest with you. I mean, it's good to be a kid for as long as you can. Oh, yeah, I totally agree. So, yeah. And then I need two more, so I'm going to do... So you're using a different yes, design one... roll bit for each of them? Yeah, one from each. There we go. Oh, Kat, can you check to see if I'm on... What date did you say it was? 21st. 21st of November, November. Sunday. Yeah, it's me. Oh, yeah. So, hang on. 21st November, when's Thanksgiving? It will... It will have been. It would have been. Well, yeah. no, it won't be yet. So, it's the fourth Thursday in November. Oh, that's right. I oh. was thinking, yeah, about the... Well, I was thinking when I lived in New York. Yeah, it was about the 20th or 21st, but it, was, so if it yeah. depends where the, where the where week falls, starts, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, exactly. But we, obviously, we're going to do it on the weekend, so... Oh, because it's Black Friday the next day. Normally, yeah. Isn't it? yeah, yeah, so it's... Yeah. Yeah, so I'm definitely being because I'm <laughs> in on Black Friday. Ooh. 
Oh, what's happened now? I don't know. Oh, it's gone all funky. Oh, should we get the other machine out? No, no, no. This one, this one will be. You sure? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sure it's me. Ooh, that worked. Cut threads. I didn't hold them. See. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. So now you see, if you'd used the cutter, you'd that, have been fine. I probably would have been fine. Oh, come on, you're all twisted up. Yeah, well, you... There we go. Okay. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. We'll soon see. We what, did suddenly do a fancy stitch or something? No, it just started chewing up. Oh, no. Operator error, I imagine, rather oh, than Oh, yeah, machine. definitely. Okay. Right, here we go. There we go, yeah, operator yeah. error. Perfect. The thing about the cotton as well that this um, panel is printed on, if you're new to sewing, it's incredibly stable. It so is. So it's a really, really good um, fabric to start with. It's funny because, I guess last night I wrote my next um, page for Simply Sewing. One of the questions was, well, I'm just about to start sewing with rayon and viscose. Oh. And I was saying, oh, if it's your first ever job just be careful you yeah. want to start off with a very stable fabric like a cotton this is a really really stable cotton to use yes it is nice yeah and i definitely concur about that yeah so with your job job your proper mm -hmm. job mm -hmm. have you started traveling again yet no see we've got um no oh because oh. you're too fast that's what it is yeah It'll, it'll work. You're all right. I think it'll work. Oh, I think, yeah. Just caught the thre thread, was it? Yeah, that's all. So every November, there is a big um, flower show in Holland. Yeah, well, just explain to yeah, people yeah. who don't know you're a botanist, oh, yeah, yeah. aren't you? Yes. Yes, so my, the company I work for is, is, um, does flower food. Right. So cut flower food. Yeah. Um, so yeah, every November, there is a big flower show at the Duck Show auction and a little bit down the road as well. It's usually two. So yeah, every November I used to always go for a few days for mm. that. Is but that this happening? Year, no, my colleagues who are already there, so I've got colleagues in Germany and Belgium and, yeah. and Holland, they will all go, but, I, but I'm not going to, I don't think a lot of my, my actual customers who are here are actually going to visit. So. Oh, okay. So yeah, so now we've all agreed like no. Because when I first met you, you every, every, you come yeah, and go, yeah, oh, yeah. I've been to Holland, I've been yeah. here, I've been there, done this, done that. Last time I travelled was January 2020. <gasps> no. Just before I went to Germany and that was the last time. But then not wanting to be a harbinger of doom, they were saying on the news last night that there's lots of new cases and everything happening. It's like yeah. resurging again. So I could be putting the kibosh on. Yeah. Well, I'm else. due for my booster in two weeks' time. Oh, yay. Uh, and they rang, I got an email yesterday saying I've got to go for my flu jab. So I rang the doctors oh, yeah. and they went, oh, no, you have to come for them both at the same time. Oh. So I have to go for them both at the same time. Yeah, I haven't had, well, I might not get my flu this year. <clears throat> I usually get a flu jab just because I travel so much. Yes, of course. But oh, still get it if they ring you up. Yeah, well. I oh, do you pay for it? I pay for it, but it's not much. All right, like, all right, so just because you're young and attractive. <laughs> It's only a tenner, it's not much. Is that how much it is? Yeah, yeah, it's not much. So but yeah, so I haven't been out of the country. This no. will be the first year I haven't been out of the country for a long time. Yeah. But we have, we have plans, hopefully, if everything goes well, to go to Madeira. Oh, nice. Next year, yeah. It's going to be my mum's 70th. So oh, wow. All, yeah, we're all going for, for that. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. Where did your mum live then? In England? Yeah, yeah, she lives literally like the other side of the village. Oh, does me. she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see her most every day. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Right, so that's your right. all inner borders uh -huh. one. <clears throat> and then for the half square triangles, you cut two strips. So make sure this is the right. Well, it doesn't matter if it's the same length. It tells you in the instructions. Yeah. They're like 26 inches or so but you put them right sides together. I'm just gonna pin them. And you just sew a quarter of an inch on either side, so both sides.
You say, well, it's, uh, uh, um, 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 there's miles away then. Quarter an inch down each length. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're essentially sewing them both together on both sides. Right. Yeah. And I presume, because you've got some with the dashes and the spots, some with the spots and the plane, and some with the... Hang on. Dashes and spots, spots with the plane. Yeah, and then just the spot, white spots. So you you do two, three different lots of yeah. strips like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Not all the same size. So not as, they don't all need to be as long as each other because you don't have the same amount. Do you have? Oh no, maybe it's just two. It's just two. Hang sets. on, no, we've got. I've got green and spot. I've got white and dash. The two in the middle should be the same, I think. Yeah. Oh no, you're right. You're right. You're right. All the same. Two, two, just two different versions. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> But again, it's your it's your cushion. Do do yeah, what yeah, you like. Yeah. Okay, so then that side. Rita's still in the lead. Oh, I think you're gonna like the mistletoe. Yeah, wait till you see it with the half square triangles around it. You love it. The thing the thing is, the wreath is I think is in the lead because green and red. Tradition. Such a traditional Christmas cut. I mean, I love yeah. that mistletoe and I love the silvers and the greys that are with it, but this is a more, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're going to have Christmas cushions, you're going to yeah. go for red and green, aren't you, rather than grey and white. Unless you're cat, of course. <laughs> what, what colour has cat got for Christmas? I don't know what cat's Christmas is going to be. Oh. Full on traditional this year. Oh. They've got stockings for her, Liam, and the cat. Aww. There we go. Did you make them, cat? Velvet, they are. Velvet. <gasps> oh, that's a bit posh. Oh, she's bought glass baubles. Oh, no. It's their first Christmas, it's their first Christmas in their home. They've Aww. always lived at home home Aww. before, you see, so. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, but you'll only have a few decorations. Wait till you're as old and as bitter and twisted as me, and you have a chest. Full of all, every year I used to do different colour. Tradition oh, one year, one year nice. I did all white and silver. And I've got boxes, um, I've got this great big Ethio, uh, no it wasn't Ethio, Moroccan chest, right? And it's just full of Christmas baubles. Nice. And I don't even put any decorations up anymore. Aww. I have some outside and that's it. Anyway, Aww. so you've sewn quarter of so, an inch down each yes. side. Now, where's my, oh here. Now what it says in the instructions, and I don't have a piece of tape handy. Right. You don't have any washi tape handy, do you? No, afraid. No. Oh, oh. No, I've got a see-through sticky tape. Oh, that might work. Tap. You might not be able to find the end of it, though. Oh. Ooh. So you put a little piece of tape on the corner of your ruler. Sorry, you... we've absolutely um, thrown it at you. That's yeah. okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, I've got... Oh! Oh. Would that be easier? No, this will okay. this will work. This will work. Okay. I'll be able to see it. I'm going to use a square because it's easier. Okay. So you put a little bit of tape, washi tape, or just something to mark. Yeah. Across. We haven't had washi tape here, have we? Because I used to have it. We used to have it same quarter. Yeah. But we didn't have it here. We haven't had it here, have we? So it's it's right across the two and a half inch mark. Right. So, so the top of the tape is across. Oh yeah, there you go. It's across. Yeah. The, Across the two and a half inch mark, right? Yeah. yeah. And then what you do is you use that mark. Oh, you can tell Rebecca Reed's written these, can't you? <laughs> Oops. Oh. Make there sure you you your sticky so, tape yeah. doesn't stick to your fabric. Yes. So then you line up that piece of tape with your sew line. Okay, not with the edge of the fabric. Not though, with, with the, the edge of the fabric. Line, right? So it's going to look in your tip won't quite extend into it'll be about a quarter of an inch from the other sew line at right the top. so don't think it has to go all the way across yeah. so you can see oh never cut towards yourself yeah don't do as i do and right. that's your half square triangle oh like that so why have you sewn on the other oh i see because you're going to turn it up the other way turn now it to the do other that. way yeah oh, so it. you'll be able to see here that the the corners don't it doesn't go all the way to the corner no but it's got but it's on the line and you've got exactly the right shape line to cut out then haven't you yes Just oh but then the next one i'm gonna let you i'll let you cut it and then we'll see 
there. You can see if I pull that aside. Yeah. That it isn't got... quite all the way to yeah. the. Yeah. Just going to square this one up a bit. But well, yeah, I suppose what you could do is you could do what we you normally do and cut two squares of. I suppose it's just. Normally, we cut put two squares together, don't yeah. you? Draw a line down the middle, so quarter an inch either side. But would they be the right size then? That's the thing. I'm not sure yeah. if it would be the right size. Yeah, but this they works look bigger really than well. normal, though, don't they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me just continue cutting some of these. Yeah. So yeah, though, so now you're on this side. Mm-hmm. What happens this funny little, oh, so you have to move it across a little bit, I see. Yeah, you just have to move it across a little bit. So I'm just going to line it up right to the edge of my yeah. sew line. But are you not going to get a funny square edge? If you cut it then, I'll let you cut it. Okay. So cut that way. Yeah. You, it's just like cutting your dog ear off. Oh, oh, I see. So yes, yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't matter that little bit there. No. I was worried that that was going to get cut encroach into, into your half square triangle. No. If it's not. I suppose you could do this with any. I mean, these are strips are jelly roll size. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially, so this mm. is a technique. If you ever need to make half square triangles, you can, you can. Um, just use it. Do it with the yeah. with your two design rolls. Just send together. Yeah. It must be really daunting if you pick up a pattern and it says, make 422 half square triangles. <laughs> you just must think, oh. Yeah. But then it's worth it in the end. Cause some it of the is. incredible creations that are appearing on the Facebook fan page are just yeah. like, yeah. you look at them, you think, how? How have they done that? It's just brilliant. I, I have to admit, I do love a half square triangle quilt. I'm actually, it's on my, well, I might be having that for my next one. Oh, okay. Yeah, but only because, once you've got half square triangles done and you arrange them, there's so many different patterns mm. that you can arrange mm. them in. I love, I love a half square triangle quilt. Yeah, but you've got so many projects on the go. Have you finished that in quilted jacket yet? No. <laughs> okay, fine. No. Shut up. Well, actually, I've decided. Um, I've got the second half, I think, is just about ready to put together on quilt. But I think I've decided I'm going to hand quilt. Oh, so it. it'll take even longer. Well, it might not, actually. Well, we'll see. Yeah. I you send it to Marcia. She could hand quilt it for you. <laughs> she likes hand quilting. It was her husband's 50th, 50th birthday this week. But oh. hang on. I thought she made the blue quilt for his 40th birthday, but I haven't known her for 10 years, have I? Anyway. Oh. She made him a lovely blue quilt and hand quilted it all for oh, his birthday. Oh, nice. Not this birthday. Yeah. I have to admit, Mikey's probably do a new quilt. Although he's commandeered my my last make. Has he? Yeah. What's he gonna do with it? He he, he well, it's a, like a baby quilt, like a baby rag quilt, and um, he just likes it so it's much. He, he he has it on him while he's watching telly or he's playing oh, he's video such games. Such a wuss, isn't he? <laughs> he For likes a big butch it. man like that, and he wants a little quilt to snuggle up to. He likes Mind it. Mind you, I'm saying that I still haven't put my heating on. Right? We haven't. I'm determined. <laughs> I'm not with heating. Not had the heating on yet. Not had the heating on at all. The other night I was so cold. I got my quilted barber jacket out and sat watching the telly with my quilted barber jacket. <laughs> I thought this is so stupid. <laughs> yeah, but you get days where it is a bit chilly, like today. But then you get another day where it's about twenty degrees. Yeah, and you exactly. Don't need it. Exactly. We're, we're being green. We're being environmental. Yeah. No, I'm just being mean. <laughs> I've got to order oil. I've been. You do what? I've got to order oil. Oh, you see, we don't have. I don't have oil, but mm. I have. Uh, we don't have gas in our village, oh, so you have so to have it delivered to your own tank in the garden. And before, you had to remember to keep checking it. And it's outside. You have to lift the whole lid up, look at yep. the little thing inside. Yep. I've now got a thing on the fence, oh. which tells them when the tank oh. is certain, and they just come and fill it. Oh, okay. Anyway. Yeah. So carry on with your half square triangles. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but I kind of like to do the checking and. See what the prices are before I. Well, yeah, but you, you yeah. have no choice in the prices. You just have to yeah, that's go true. with it, don't you? That is true. Okay, I think right. we've got enough there. Done enough of those. Yep, 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 yep. So 
So you sew these together. Actually, you don't even have to do this pattern, but this is the way that the pattern is. Yeah. So these are going to go like this. So you create a, a, like the centre bit, it's like a flying geese mm -hmm. unit almost, isn't it? It is. But again, it's your, it's, your, it's your cushion. You do what you want with it. Yeah, so she's put cornerstones on hers, isn't she? But you could almost carry on just round doing half square triangles, couldn't you? And then, so when do you sew all those together to make a long strip and then do yes, it like you do which is what I'm going to, a normal yeah. piece of fabric? Yeah, yeah which I'm going to do. I think I'm deciding I'm actually going to do them this way instead. Right, okay. So that my light ones are my TC bits coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like nice. That. Susan said, just get yourself a heated blanket. Well, the big oh. thing this year is weighted blankets. I keep seeing adverts for weighted blankets. Yeah. Well, I can't, can't be too hot in bed. I don't want the... Oh, no. Oh, no. I have to have weight, but I've got my, my duvet and my quilt on yeah, top. Yeah, that's, that's what I've got. Oh no, Amanda. And now, Amanda, I didn't see your message. Amanda said earlier, morning all, enjoying planning Christmas, watching you while in bed with this horrendous cold. Oh. I didn't see that one, Amanda, but Glennis has said, get well soon, Amanda. Yeah, we oh, all think you should yes. get well soon as well, but there's so many people. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I've just seen it now. Um, so many people got a really, and it's not to do with the, I mean. The dreaded C. But it's, it's like, well, we don't know, do we? But loads of people have got a horrible, horrible flu, like, knocked them into bed you know people yeah. like my friend Koki that I was talking about earlier who's direct was supposed to be before Covid happened the new Gary Barlow film and um she's laid up in bed with it just horrendous oh. and she's not a she's a tough liver puddly and you know hard I don't say hard face that's the wrong word but, you know she's a tough yeah. woman sort of thing but absolutely wiped her out Way even there yeah. we go so do these two together so these make up the four the ones that are green and white on the uh, the wreath yeah and then you do um oh i see so you're out. doing that this middle section hang on yeah. i'll do this right one for jesse so you're doing this section now but in the greys yes and then you do a different color just one either side in a different color way then you've got your cornerstones which are just your planes yes yeah got five minutes left of the demo. Oh, okay. Demo. The trees will get well soon, Amanda. That's what I love about this community. Yeah. Somebody's poorly. Everyone rallies round, don't they? She'll be finding casseroles on her doorstep next. No, I was about to say. <laughs> I only want vegetarian fat casseroles. So you can them to me, but I'm not poorly and I'm not going to be poorly. Uh, but I decided this week I think I might retire to, a, to York. Yes, I saw that. The I Riverside agree. The Riverside apartment in York could be quite York nice. York is lovely. Well, I just want to be able to walk into town, walk yeah. to the railway station, things like that. Anyway, yep. carry on with it. It's only got a few minutes. Yep. So then, uh, yeah, that's the way. So then you have those and then, oh, you can, I mean, it's one of those panels where you can actually do whatever you want. Yeah, exactly. So you could actually have two sides that look exactly the same. Uh-huh. I should have another one there, but I didn't cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then have two other strips, Going which are all the same. Well, the thing is, it's, your, it's, yours to do, yeah. it's yours to do as you please, really, isn't it? Exactly. So that's just the border. And then you've got one other smaller border around the outside yes. with cornerstones. With cornerstones as well. And then just very, very quickly, I know you haven't made this yet. Oh, yes. But the, um, the, these are quite simple, the placemats they and are. table mats, aren't they? They are. Um, which kit are you putting in? The, the mistletoe. Yeah, Mr. That's this one and this. Yeah, the only thing instructions that threw me when I was reading it. Yeah. And it made sense after I spoke to you this morning. Yeah. <laughs> was the napkin ring? Oh yes, 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 yes. So the napkin ring is a strip folded in half, like this. Uh huh. Where's my? What have you lost? My wadding. Did you bring it in with you? Yeah, literally. I think I had it right there. It must have fallen off. But anyway. There, there it is. Oh, it is, is. Is it like. Um, yeah, the floofy. Yeah, floofy. 
How did that get all the way around here? I don't know. I think, I think it's, it's Jesse it's putting the air con on top. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty light stuff, so I'll just cut a piece off just to show. Yeah. So then you put your wadding, and it's not going to cover the whole lot, but... Oh, no, Amanda, thank you for all you get well wishes. Fed up, it's the third week now. Oh. But it's finally sent me to bed this week. Can't have it much longer. Oh, no. Janet says good morning, everybody. Good morning, Janet. Oh, so yeah. you put wadding all the way along it, or just... Yeah, you'd yeah. have it all the way along. Yeah. And uh, I know this is a floofy, so you can use this. Yeah. Uh, or cotton wadding might work as well. Yeah. I'm just putting that on. And then you sew a quarter of an inch in all along the long edge. Yeah. On both sides. Yeah. And then once that's sewn, then you take the pins out, obviously. Yeah. And you turn it. You pull it through. Yeah, right side round. So you right. trim your trim a little bit of your seam allowance, of especially of your wadding, so that it's not too thick, and then pull it all the way through. Yeah. And that's how you get your your napkin ring shape, Brilliant. basically. Uh, and that's it. That's it. And then she did. She, 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 she then sew a ribbon down the middle. Hang on. So if I oh yeah. I think Cut it's the a ribbon into two equal lengths. Yeah, yeah. So she's literally yeah. just um, zigzagged ribbon down the middle of it, and then she's tied it round the napkin. So yeah. you, you don't make like a napkin ring. It's not a complete no. circle. It's a long strip. Strip. Put your napkin in, and then tie it round. Yeah, exactly. It's lovely, isn't it? And yeah, then yeah. the place mat. It's just a, a, a piece of the fabric with a backing with mm -hmm. wadding in the middle and cross hatched on. Yep. And then the, the um, I'm presuming the uh, central bit is just the flower with a border on it. And then she's just quilted around the border. It's very simple. I'll yeah, put yeah, it down. Yeah. Sorry, I was reading that. And you should have been looking at it. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go. And for actually, you don't even need to add a border because your, your oh, panels yes. already panels have a border. Oh, yes. Panels got the border on. So you yeah. literally need to just make a quilt sandwich, quilt it, mm -hmm. and then book. But then use some of the, she's used some of the strips around the outside to bind it with. Yep. Brilliant. So now, you're not in now until when, did you say? 21st of November. November. And do you know yep. what you're doing on that day yet? Um, oh, yes. Oh, well, but I, don't, I, say if, don't say if it's a surprise. It's, well, <clears throat> it's more, it's Riley Blake fabric. Right. It's called Exquisite and it is gorgeous. Oh, it is right. really nice. It's all flowery. It, I've got some charm packs. Um, and some fat quarter packs and some planes that really match it. Oh, but fantastic. it's all sort of soft greys and rose pinks and oh, it sort lovely. of latte. Yeah, and we're doing a your design. Are we doing a, a, a swift quilting designed with it? Yeah, yeah, we're going to do something. Have you, have you made yeah. it yet? No. Okay. <laughs> anyway, lovely to see you. Send our love to Mikey. Thank you very I much. I will. And she's got no bike today. She can come on no. her bike today because the chain's broken. I did not well. on electric bikes. I mean, not electric, power bikes. So you yeah, had a yeah. chain. Yeah, it's you not broken, but it is kinky. It's what? It's kinky. <laughs> I love all those photos you've taken. They're oh, very okay. gorgeous. Oh, aren't didn't they? he get. That's Tom. You, you remember Tom? Tom Curtis. Thomas Curtis. Who used to do the. Cameraman the, Tom. Yeah, 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 Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Married to Zana. Yes. He did them? Yeah. Oh, I might get him to do my pictures yeah, then. They yeah, were yeah. brilliant. Mm -hmm. Oh, anyway. Right, okay. uh, what, what have you got in? Right, panel only. This is the panel. Mistletoe panel. My favourite, Emma's favourite, but not your favourite, apparently. Silver threads with it. Yeah, exactly. You do all sorts with it. You can make a little tote bag, a little gift bag or anything. Uh, nine, nine pounds 99 that panel. I've also got the panel with the wreath on it. Which is here. Beautiful. That's the wreath panel there. These are these strips that you get. They're obviously much longer than that. I've just got it in half, plus your wreath panel there. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Which panel would you like me to do both bundles or all four bundles? Re wreath cushion first. So in this bundle you get the wreath panel. Plus the instructions of how to make the cushion. That's what we're just doing then. That's what it makes. Okay. And then I've also got the panel with the table mat and placemats. Oh, I'm a bit chilly now. Talking all that quilts and no heating on. Got Christmas coming up in Yarn Lane. Remember all those lovely knitted thingies in Yarn Lane? That's $14.99. Then I've got the mistletoe panel with the cushion. $18.99, saving a pound. 
and then save more than a pound. Have you got a show tonight? She's yawning. You can never sleep between. Fourteen ninety nine. Oh, I can wait if you want, Kat. Fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. Right, shall we have a look at tomorrow's menu? It's me again tomorrow. So we've got native lighting. Remember, native lighting we have got for the first time. And I don't know if it's only for tomorrow, but we've got three split pays on everything. Then Mark Francis has, has got a TV launch of his Brighton shirt. Uh, oh, look, <laughs> Adjust forms and dressmaking tools. Um, have I got both adjust forms, the blue and the red? Do you know? 11 o'clock, we've got the Frida dress and top with Mark Francis. That's a um, Fiona Hesford. Is Frida Fiona Hesford? Sounds like it should be, doesn't it? And then 12 o'clock, now, you see, they've not put the designer's name on. I get so angry when they don't do this, when they don't do name the designer. It's, it's, I know who it is. It's Anakin Alice. Anakin Alice, it should have her name on there. Yarn Lane, Anakin Alice, Winter Hats and Cows. Right. Don't forget to check out on Turka the Turkey and the Iron, which you can't see because it's behind the graphics there. Also, the 580 sewing machine. There are several of those left, you find, but you get a free walking foot, saving 50... You don't save £54 because we sell it at £789, but you get a free gift of £54. But if you look at that elsewhere, £899 is what you'll find it for. 580 plus. Make sure it's the 580 plus you're Googling, though. And we offer it split pay with no added... Uh, how many split pays is that? Three. Be paid for by Christmas. That's the 580 plus. Uh, and, and if you go to yesterday's show, Stuart did a really, really good demo on it yesterday. Or we have the 780... Which we've got three of the 780s left. That's it now. Three 780s left. Um, now, if you go and watch Tuesday's show on YouTube, Becky Alexander Frost does a whole demo on it, and you do get a free Becky Alexander Frost panel with it. Neither of those offers will last. This is a five way split pay, so that won't be paid for by Christmas. Uh, right, we're off to Yarn Lane now. Uh, if you've bought something from me today, your PMP is paid for on Yarn Lane. Um, if you've never logged into Yarn Lane before, it's exactly the same login details it is here. Now, if you're watching us on the telly, stay where you are. If you're watching us on YouTube, you, uh, Facebook, or on our website, you now need to leave the Sewing Street one and, <coughs> excuse me, go and find the Yarn Lane version of all three of those, right? Now, the products from Yarn Lane don't appear on Sewing Street, and the products from Sewing Street don't appear on Yarn Lane. That's why you've not seen these. People have been messaging going, how do I buy these? They're on Yarn Lane. They're already all on pre-order on Yarn Lane now. So we're going now so that we can come back dead on 12 and start the Yarn Lane show. And we've got loads of knitting for you today. We'll see you there in five. If not, I'll see you tomorrow morning at eight here.